What's up, fellas? What's going on with y'all? Just give me one sec. Mm -mm. Alright, let's get in. You don't queue up, man. See here, talk, you fellas. Oh, no. Madden 22 about a month away. <clears throat> That's crazy. They still, like, in the Madden, they still put in, like, they got too many 99 overall cards. Like, way too many. It's like everybody they put out is a 99 overall. Like, you're not attracting no one to come back. Every card's a 99 by now. Ah. EA Sports coverage of the Bill Gates. League is on the air. The atmosphere here no matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their yeah, Raiders Cowboys. get set to face off with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Mm. So what we're going to do, man, is we're going to take advantage of these little quick, short, medium routes. We're going to use your catch. A clash of two of the more fervent we even got Hunter Renfro on the field. He'll make the most of them. This is Tony Pollard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. All right. Let's get it. Usually certain formations will come out like single back ace. I'll play like a Tampa 2. Just try to stay with it. Should be backed up to the 24. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13. Press mm. to the tight end Blake <laughs> Really? I haven't played it in a minute. I've been playing this other game, my dude. Um, like, I forgot something. Days gone or something. So I've been falling off, so it's like 700 or something. Like it dropped like 100 because I ain't been playing. On third down, it's Prescott. Up on that Tampa 2 blitz. And that'll fall incomplete. So the defense able to Should have came home, home, man. I gotta do die faster. Be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defense is chart. How did we this do on guy. third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Goal is to come through. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field. On I don't know why he keeps coming out in single back ace. You really want to try that, though. Versus a 91 speed linebacker. Are you sure you want to go for this? If you run, I'm, I'm shooting the gap. If you pass, he's not protected. Yeah, that's what I thought. Clock about to expire. Mike McCarthy's going to take a timeout. We'll He'll play chill position here. We step aside here. But watch court. Madden be Madden and uh, he come out in something and get this. I'm going to be a little peed off. Oh, a big real. decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it. Good fucking let's go. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the right. game. And the Raiders with the football now it's in kind of uh field position. Get in our little chill mode, man. Good things are gonna come from this. So mainly you just wanna look at the safety. Safety split out wide, so that tells me he could be in man coverage or cover four. So what we're gonna do. 
equipment, take advantage of that void. Um, make sure that you do slide protect, fellas. Even if you know you're not anticipating a blitz, it will correct your AI blocking assignments. From the gun, it's Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for. That'll bring a second down. Sorry. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. And now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops man covers. and forcing them into at least a long field goal Probably situation. Him with a flood. Now Carr Block after the tight end. pass brings him up second and ten. Okay, get him out there because he's in a baseline look. Throwing again. Carr. Boom, user. Oh no! What the fuck? I went for the wrong animation. I should have went possession. Should have went possession. I don't know why I aggressive. Thought he was gonna drop back. Shit, not aggressive. He's wide open. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta collect, correct that. Good D. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They did a really nice job there. Now he's trying to go outside. Not gonna worry about it too much. You know, regs are gonna be regs. BCR players, guys responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. He'll probably run outside again. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott, and there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Got jammed up on a block. Inside the 25, 22 yards there. Right, so we'll show him blitz again. Try to give me a slow takeoff. Wow. Yeah, man, I slept all day, man. I slept at work all day. I mean, not at work. I took two naps at work. And I got home. Bro, I've been asleep. I just woke up not too long ago. It's just a bad first drive. I should have possession yeah, catch. I went away. for the aggro. No, no, no need for that. Fielded near the back of the end zone. That he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. But, you know. The offense for Las Vegas. He's going for the baseline. The drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7 0 the score as they start. So if he's in baseline, he's got that over there. We're going to go ahead and get the end around, even though it's a slower receiver. Ah, I hate when they do that, bro. I have the perfect play drawed up. Damn, man. See, I have I had a perfect play drawn up. Better yet, just all I want to do is motion him over there. See if he stays pinched. Oh my God, roll like that's fine. sure that you'd call it trick play but they definitely showed some imagination there i wouldn't be surprised if they want to come back and show this play a few more times before this one is over all right so make sure you slide protect to the strong side um in gun bunch you mainly want to make sure that you do block either the tight end or the running back you don't need to block both necessarily and then just go to flat route so that opens that tight tight end route up working from the gun it's car Oh man. Over the middle, but not letting me use her. 
Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's playing a man now. Um, I'm playing it more frequently. A great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Could be like just two man under spamming. That means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Yeah. All right, so we just take advantage of that. Get him out of man. Plays a lot of man, even though his base line look. It's either going to be square or the tight end. Tight end. Boom, look at that. Boom! Get the animation. Alright, so we got an idea that he likes to play a lot of man. So we're going to send a lot of, you know, man underneath coverage beaters. Start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work. And we got we got what we want on the defensive side. We just gotta about set for this next drive by the Cowboys. Just gotta execute. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. Want to send another blitz, but not possibly not blitz. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Just short of the just play, the play two sink, sell, sell it like we're blitzing, but not blitz. Just drop any covers, do like a three, four man rush. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Put him in a spy. A tight one. Eight, seven, our score after the main thing one, about turbo blitzing, sports. you can't always do it, but you can use it to kind of, you know, set up other things that you want to do. You're probably going to have to play like a cover six here. Really. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Prescott, over the middle, Cooper with it, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the first. <laughs> Gotta have to send some pressure. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Not gonna blitz. Good shit, good care, good shit. Back, play down. cover six. This defense is really thrown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Oh, good shit, Beasley! The fuck off me! See, he's so scared of the turbo blitz. Now he's, you know, we ain't got a turbo blitz no more. You just drop those linebackers in the zone. He's been playing a lot of man. Just slide protect to the strong side. That's all we got to do. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Flushed out right. Look at that. Attack the user. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Shotgun now for Carr. Look at her. Boom. Let's attack him. A well executed 22 yard gain. The turbo blitz is basically sending your user in through that gap that's going to shoot. Look at that user catch! Let's go! I'm going to abuse him with that. 
When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. All right, I want to go like he's playing a lot of zone now, so we could probably just go space and switch. User catch. Definitely want to take advantage, advantage of Renfro. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. Eight, seven, He's playing a lot of nickel. So when they spam like a specific formation set and they don't come out of it, you know, I like to test them. I come out in a heavier set. And then, yep, we got them. And we're just going to no huddle this. I mean, even if I don't get a lot of yards, I can almost force the hand here. Especially if he's just spamming baseline press. Jacobs now. And he's only gonna get a yard from the 20 to the 19. If I get him with this. Throwing his car on third down. This cowboy defense looked ready for the move that analog. Brings up fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring Let's try up, it. I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. Oh, too much moving. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Look at her. Boom. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring gonna, up first and goal. He's going to stay in there. We're going to attack him with spacing. As long as he doesn't play man. Um, better yet. Yeah, go spacing. Card out of throw. Look at our spawn. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. See where his heart is. <laughs> he wanted to run commit. <laughs> we got a committer. He wants to get committed to the asylum. Let's go. I make him crazy around here. Get committed to the shadow asylum. Nice, right, the same thing. I don't have to blitz here. About set for this next drive by the I've already forced my hand. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump starting your team. No! Oh! oh, we got this guy where we want him. You may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. All right, we're not blitzing. We're just showing blitz. And then we're just going to back up, kind of get the attention of the tackle and just guide him over so that containment should come free. I mean, we've never labbed it, but On nope. second down, Prescott again. He keeps going for Coop. We're going to take that away. Don't see him throwing it to the running back out of the backfield. Take it away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to It's like he's doing like skinny post. Another example, another incompletion. So like I could put like an inside quarter there and a curl flat there. And then just use her. Throwing again, Prescott on second and ten. Boom! Perfect adjustment. Jam up Cooper just long enough for that to develop for us. Second straight drive now here, Charles. So now we're rolling on all cylinders. Now I like it. I like it. 
He's playing a lot of man again. Just make sure that you slide protect to the strong side. And if necessary, I can just make this route short. I don't need it to be deep. Throwing on first down is Carr. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Look at there. Oh, they didn't give it to me. Come on, EA. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch. Maybe Again, just shorten that route. I don't need it to be deep. Get into field goal range with a completion. Car again here on second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. Look at that. User catch. Ah! They say it's incomplete. So he's gonna he's gonna user the underneath. So I could probably face a third and ten after back to back incompletions. I need I need something. I need something from Renfro. We're gonna we need to get him with this. Just let him set his feet. From the gun. And that's what we need. Look at there. Boom. Hold that R1, fellas. No need to go for two. I can't believe he tried to man rug for all like that's negative. So we start off bad and then like as always man we finish strong. The main thing that you want to kind of influence on yourself. But like I said man the main thing man when you pass even if they're not blitzing or whatever always slide protect to the strong side you'll get you'll see results you still got to make your reads it doesn't mean hold the ball forever but you know end of the day slide protect put him in a third curl oh I jumped off of him but still came back I thought he was going to do a post so I had to let it go that's the trick to not getting beat by it. All right. Curl, outside quarter, inside, outside third, inside quarter. Just looked like that. Ooh. Fuck it. Just run with Cooper. Look at that. I got four guys on him. I put two zones over there. Had four guys on him. That's the adjustments you want to make to defend the deep. And we get the ball back, bro. Think I should make it rain in the fucking shadow asylum. Let's go. Let's get this guy committing. He want to pass commit now. Let's let's get him. Let's make it rain. To see now we got him so worried about it, fellas. It's gonna open up the run game. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They are just putting things together so well here. Drive. And just make sure that you ID the inside gap. Look at our bones. Open the run game up now. Put a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because. The way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and the need to do anything fancy really here. Hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add Look at there, how that pass game opens up the halfback base. This gun bunch is deadly, bro. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But see now I can use this heavy leaf because I've I've done some damage. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their Look at him trying to use her. He's just gashing him. See, what we want to do is we want to get him off that route. Dude. What we're about to do is we're about to, about to hit him. About to hit him, bro. About to hit him. He's staying in it. He's bringing the safety down. He got him. 
He's committing in Shadow Asylum. Let's go. That's why I try not to use Gun Bunch too much, but it's the end of the year, bro. Might as well give y'all a taste of what's going to be in the ebook that I released for Madden 22. If you can score at will and control the pace of the game, that's mainly what you want. You know, even if you start off bad, you can finish. No. It was a uh, bench. Bench pivot. But like I said, now we can just come out and play Tampa 2. Put a quarter, third, curl on the field. And then just stay on Cooper. Take Cooper away. Force him to do other stuff, you know? Do it again. Let's kind of put a containment with it. Rerush. Quarter, third, curl. Engage. He's not really going to have a lot of passing options, so we contain. Quarter, third. Curl. And not let me get to the user. Just take his passing lanes away, man. He's going to eat clock for us. <clears throat> so he's not playing the, the protect game anymore. So what we're about to do is we're about to send the blitz again. So we're going to send a turbo. He's passing. He's not, he's not slide protecting. And he managed to pick me up that time. I'll probably flip it. I don't know how I'm getting picked up on both sides. Hmm. I'm gonna overload. Nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first. Do not send. First down, Prescott. And this is caught at the eighth. Oh, it's rough. That hurts, fellas. From 21 yards away, and the Cowboys get a bit closer. Again, we're going to use that halfback base. I'm not going to fall for this, bro. They just come out. They are run D. It'll be all right. Let's see what he does here. Show blitz, but don't. Damn. Should have a guess. I'm gonna run a lot of cover two sync, just stock sync to stop the slants. Cause he's not letting him cross across the field. He's throwing it before the hash. I think the vert hook on the outside linebacker should be able to jump it. I don't know. Y'all want to see more gun bunch, fellas? Cause I feel like we got this guy where we want him now. He just keep coming out in the run play now and then just kind of eat this clock. He's going to be worried about what we can do deep. He's going to see rugs in the slot. He's doing too much. Eat clock. You're not really doing this to get, you know, eventually you might get a big game, but you're not really doing it for that. You're doing it to kind of Make him respect. You know? Once again is Jacobs. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It's all about respect. We're gonna try to get it to Renfro. I need a slower receiver on the outside for this. Because he plays a lot of man. I should get a one-on-one. -on -one. That safety should be manned up to the running back. So I would block 
the tight end on the back side and send that running back on a dink route. So remember what I said about Gun Bunch. You either block the running back or you block the tight end. You really want to block the side that you're not really going to. Okay. So your check down, we're going to block the tight end. Give me the swing. And then just kind of have a check down on that side. And then our strong side, just make sure we motion our new strong side. So he's going to block for us over there. And Renfro's kind of... Look at there. 80, 86 speed receiver getting open downfield. Don't sleep on the slow receivers, man. They can get open. We should be able to pass in this. Car. Oh, I should went possession. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This guy's just car after the spamming the same shit. Like I should have the fullback open in the flat. To throw again. Car. Ooh, Reno Renfro! No! I need you to get on the ground, my dude. You gotta hold on to that. Got to hold on to that. Hmm. Let's have to rack in, in traffic. Alright, so we're gonna pretend like we're blitzing and not blitz. Or make them make max protect. That third should be getting over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Cooper more attention. I'm going to spotlight him. Just put a spotlight on him and press him at the line. Oh, come on, man, That's Cooper. Cooper. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the Don't panic, five. don't panic, don't Another panic. Catch for him there. We'll go to that cover two sink. First down. Spotlight. Spotlight Coop. Now Prescott. Yeah, make him go underneath. underneath to Pollard. Uh, stay in bounds. Get this down near the 20 yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They just spotlight him. Three straight passes. Quarter, third, and user. Like that. Run your cover twos like that, fellas. Press. A first down throw for Prescott. This will be caught inside the 10. And all the way to the two yard line there before crossing <laughs> over out of bounds. Play, play a shade on your knee. That's now 35 yards quarter. Third. Flat. Put a quarter with that. See, we can get like a double or a triple team on. Now here's Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. He's got to go for two, so we stop it here. Play like a cover six. Give him a blitz, but don't blitz. Good D. Let's take us, take us to the house. Love to cover six in the red zone. Prescott, you not running with me, bro. You can't even outrun my linebacker. So it remains a two possession. So that drive actually helped us. He ate some clock for us. We're going to get out of here. Take them timeouts, really. Like, I don't care. Like, even if... I got to punt him the ball. I don't care. My thing right now is I want to take the timeouts away from him. I don't want I don't want to force a pick. I don't want to throw the ball. 
I just want to run the clock, take the two-minute warning, and all three timeouts. Or even if I could take two timeouts, the game's over. Just take that two-minute warning. They definitely do because they've actually brought them back into it, haven't they? They've given them hope once again. Their purpose on this drive. Now we take the timeouts. One more time. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. First thing I noticed, you got a linebacker playing defensive end. It's Jacobs, and he's going to be met at the line. We're going to sit on it, see if he calls a timeout. Probably wait till like 10 seconds before I pick my play. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to I could to probably get just feel like a little on this game. Astor, you said big third down. Smash concept. In capital letters here. Trying to see if we can force a timeout. I, I really don't want to not convert and not take some clock with me, you know. Let me go ahead and just pick the play. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in so. an extra defensive back. All right, there's a one timeout. That's fine. I will punt. Didn't get all three, but we took a minute off the clock. Here's AJ Cole now. No, bro, this gonna eat a good ten seconds off the clock. Oh, good punt. No, don't bounce back. Just outside of that 20 yard line. Nothing, nothing fancy, fellas. Nothing About fancy. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which Play there, user baby. And that should do it. I can't believe he threw it to my user. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with this play. Grand pro. What I could do is put him in a vert. And have like a him come out over here. Oh, I see you, Renfro. I see you. Turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a quick pass. I got a touch quick. Car gonna throw here. Look at that. Touch quick. Should have been a touch. I don't know why they said bullet. Should have been a touch. But that's fine. Maybe screwing me with these. Feels routine, and I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard on, passing Rampo. game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. Look at there, user catch. Just do a user all day, bro. Renfro gonna ball the fuck out. Here in the final stages, a good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Look at our user catch. Just use or catch everything, man. Don't don't let the CPU do anything for you anymore. Give him a little short pass, Roger. User catch it. Now you got to make the right decision. Now. I'm not saying you're always going to make the right decision because you're only human. You're going to make errors here and there. But more times than not, you're going to come away with a big play. Dude, I, I can't believe this dude just staying with single back ace the whole fucking game. Put that bird hook underneath. So if he tries to throw it underneath. 
You just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations. Look at Eric, cover set. He's taken down. And one of the whistles for a timeout. Hey, right, so we're going to stop the clock here in a game that's been decided flip in the closing seconds. Let the Sam come through. Put the vert hook there. Again here. It's second and 15. I need like a vert hook and a mid read. So we got the vert hook and the mid read. Another try after the first down sack. Look at there. Coverage sack. going to go down again. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. So that's cover three sky. Not sure they needed to take it, but put the we'll outside linebacker in a vert hook. So if he throws That'll like a little crosser, we'll he'll catch it and then the put him in a mid read long. and pass commit. So you run your cover three like that. One last shot now for Prescott. He's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. I can't believe he just spammed the same play the whole game, bro. Like that's sad. On which play, um, Keon? Really, I've been doing, I, I've been trying to avoid high passes and low passes. Um, you can go back and look. I don't think I threw a high pass. I just kind of threw a little touch pass. And there's no highlight for it. That sucks. But Renfro over there just balling, bro. Just try to throw a little touch pass. And he doesn't have to jump for it, you know. When you use her, you hold that R1 and you use her. And you can turn, hold that stick down. So he turns around and squares his shoulder for the catch. You know, you'll never get those tip balls again, bro. Like, that Renfro would die in the mud. Look, look at this. Boom. Just get the ball out fast. You ain't got to wait for plays to get open downfield. They're not always going to be open downfield. You don't always need a speed receiver. You know, that's, that's the main reason I'm not using rugs as my starter because, you know, you want to get your best players on the field, and Renfro got a 90 catch rating. So I got I got to use my boy, you know. But look at this, bro. Look at these cover two adjustments, man. Just use her. Force it. Force it. I can't believe he tried me. Boom. Look at the user control. Locked down. Without getting P.I. There, just that quarter. I like putting those safeties in the quarters, bro. Like they, they, they play that crossing assignment just the way you want them to. It's like they actually play their zone when you put them in that inside quarter. You let them play the third, they're gonna give up so much space on those slant routes. You're gonna get beat underneath and it's, it sucks but uh yeah if you want to play my dude you can definitely send um i don't know why okay i don't know i'm gonna check my last opponent out top 10 percent yeah ain't too bad but it's people with these spam places spam offense like bro don't come out in the same shit not working you know it's like I try to tell people that like people that stay in one offense the entire game like why do y'all do it like I, I'm just I'm just asking you know we, we we in therapy right now at the shadow asylum these people committed <laughs> trying to pass commit and run commit <laughs> but uh I'll put let me play one more and then then I can start playing a couple of you guys because I'm just waking up I got I got to get in my zone because I I get in here and I, I start just playing and you know I'm half sleep <laughs> I'll start doing some of the things that I preach about that you shouldn't do <laughs> I think we all been there we all done that sometimes you just get lazy with your play calling but don't get like predictably lazy where you just come out and same formation every fucking drive and it stops and it's not working like <laughs> what's wrong man like why are you coming out in it same thing like they're one formation and they're not mixing their stuff up like I could get it if they mixing their shit up but if you picking the same play and then only calling a few 
hot routes and shit. Like, bro. <laughs> Come on now. The atmosphere here, electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get to Always said that the Eagles were my kryptonite because of Fletcher Cox. No, they, I hate playing against linemen that penalize your quarterback just because they're rushing. Even though they're not in range, they generate that under pressure banner. And I, I don't like that. You know, it's like that's not realistic. I wish Madden would kind of understand this a little bit. But we're loving this 4 3 over, bro. I'm just, just saying. That. So if we play this cover three, find out who the Sam is. See with the box safety kind of cover a little bit more because that inside quarter does man match just a lot more aggressive than you know curl flats and shit so you play this play the yeah, I mean I'm content bro as long as he's not getting big plays we good just kind of reading them right now before I figure out if I want to send a turbo or from the gun, it's hurts. Look at our cover set. <laughs> it's how to get me with a Z spot. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of so I can actually stay in this it's a quarter over there. To go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Kind of keep everything underneath, so we might actually go Tampa 2 right here. I'm thinking he might try like an out route or something. Give me that inside quarter, that curl. Oh no. There we go, make the tackle, there we go. Why I did that. That third down conversion, good for 23. So it's going to be quarter, third, so quarter, third, hard flat. Let the mid read stay. And then just use her. And then just kind of slide, protect the D line over there. We can actually blitz the user, but don't blitz him. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Just kind of play smart defense here. There's no need to spam the um, might, might be able to do a turbo. So, so third quarter, like that. Be content, just kind of pull it down a little bit. Right, so we're gonna send a blitz. Got to send some. I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it first. Oh, no! First down and completing it. And down inside the 15. How did I not get that? A big pick up there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers and deliver. And Good job. Continue to grow because he's kind of disguise what we're doing here a little bit. Man, make him earn this drive, bro. Because we get ball at halftime. Here's second and ten. We're scoreless after one. Let's see how we're going to slide here. I might slide strong. And then just kind of really don't want to have to use her. Good job, Beasley! I'm going to be using Yannick and Joku like that next year. All right, so now I can play a nickel defense. I'd like to stay in that base defense. 
for as much as I can. And then before we come out in nickel and third down and whatnot. I'm just gonna play gun, gun stack. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll try and set up the screen. No, sir. And they're gonna drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the eleven. Don't take it three. Gonna bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So on comes the eagle kicker, Jake Elliott. That's how you play down. defense, fellas. Man, make them eat clock. Don't let them get the touchdown. And the Eagles, they take a three nothing lead. So they get three. And again, I'm not a fan of the Fletcher Cox and any D lineman that has that under pressure crap. You know, like again, I don't feel like it's realistic, and because we have to deal with that, I have to get the ball out of my hands really fast. So uh definitely gonna kind of establish what we want to do here make sure anytime you're doing these inside runs you are ID on the center of the gap that you're trying to run simple nothing too big get the easy R see what he comes out in see what he likes so far that's a Tampa 2 I don't want to be too obvious they won that on what I'm with trying the to do. So. There's a lot of ways to attack cover two. A lot of ways. Break the huddle, come Went cover three, that's fine. The 27 yard line. Just slide protect to the strong side where you're sending your route. Shotgun now for Carr. Going up top. And this is going to be intercepted. Madden, I'll forgive you for that one. I probably should have lobbed that and pass led to the outside. But that Madden. Mm -hmm. Put him in that. They were more than prepared for that one. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. God, I can't. The Good for an eagle first down. Can't play that so quarter. Much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. What first down hurts. So he's just going to go flat route. All right. So I'm going to put a flat route on the field. Or I can play man. Shade underneath. Same thing. I want to make sure I do have that quarter on the field. Hate how they let these guys just run forward. Even when they're getting hit, like that's something. Put one quarter on the field, just like that. Right back to Sanders on first down. And able to get him down, but he does. All right, I'm gonna slide to the strong side. Are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. When we talk about being on schedule, oh, uh, Madden with these fall forwards. Right All right, quarter over there. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the deep. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So we got a toter. Miles Sanders taking it in. Toter flat route. Toter flat route. Probably play like cover three, shade underneath. On the strong side, user the weak side linebacker because I don't think he's going to go flat both sides. So there's no point in me having two flats on the field. So I could probably blitz the weak side. If I take the flat route away, he's going to that's going to be his primary read. And he's got pressure coming. He's not going to have enough time for a second, third read. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 20. A little dis again, a little disappointed about that last drive, but you know, I'm not gonna cry over spilled milk. We're just gonna put someone faster in there. And we're gonna we're gonna get him this time. The Las Vegas offense ready to start. We like to play like it's like quarters. Still more than a minute. I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. I don't like this. Nope. The psychology of the game at times isn't there. How much better would they feel running into the locker room? Look at our user catch, baby. In a positive fashion, you're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Can't fuck with the user catch and bro like I have all these dudes feelings hurt. Here's Carr. Throw left side, take it in by Renfro. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr. User. So he likes to chase routes. Second of their timeouts. As they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go. Taking notes. First half. We got we got someone else that wants to commit to Shadow Asylum. A first and ten here, and you know if they could just get three out of this. Corner on the slot. Get to a one score game at half. A little low on the line. Logical boost. Possession, rack. Have cut it back to within a score. Uh -uh, we'll go for two. Fuck it. The way this one was going, you just got to we got that field goal. We got to get that back. We got to get us and get back. At least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room. Come on, 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 come on. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the There we go. All right, so just nothing much, Juan. Is that Quan or Juan? Different regions. Get that tackle, baby. Which way? Quan, the first one or the second one? Quan or Juan? I'm going to play our cover three. I'm going to... um. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say Don't let them out of bounds. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially okay, get some point. Okay. And if it doesn't work... Well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Well, I didn't say it like one, like in, in Juwan, like one as in, you know, Asian one, like. Now second and seven from the 23. And put a deep half over there. Third, and then just kind of gravitate. I should put it like a mid read. That'll defend crossers. And then we'll just use her on him. Throwing from the gun, it hurts. He'll get this complete to Jalen so he's going to put crossing the routes over there. So I could probably play like a cover, that one, a gain of 20 a first cover three lock. Kind of take that away. I'm going to have to put him in a third. Him in a quarter. Throwing his hurts. There we go. Keep it in there. Make him use that timeout. Now the Eagles will use the second play it again. Timeouts. Same exact way. Stop it with 13 seconds Probably play, play like a containment. Second and five Put a quarter. Five yard completion on first down. Play the third right there. Get two quarters. And then don't get oh, juke. Don't let him go to the sideline. No, come on now. Trying to take that last time out from him. Shit's in a turbo blitz. I mean, fuck it, you know. Only thing is, he blocks the running back. 
first and ten, it Sanders. Use that last time out. Probably gonna get this. That is no, no, it's not gonna let me stop. He, that's, he's gonna get money right here, but you know, that's fine. We'll take the lead at half. And he barely got that. That was never in doubt. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see. So we can go up three. We get the two point conversion on our drive. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter. Yeah, I do not like playing the Eagles, especially like in the fourth quarter. It's like, um, your boy, man, he, he real glitchy. You know, I've had some games where, you know, I've been in control and next thing you know, <laughs> it's like, what's going on? <laughs> so we're going to actually, because we're running, we're going to go ahead and put Waller in the point, man. Set to get this drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out when they scored a touchdown. And confidence is Look at there, roll. When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get Definitely it Definitely don't want to. Not use the run. Definitely can open everything else up that you want to do. So if you have a play that you can use, see now you got him in in a more favorable setup with Waller. Definitely want to take advantage of that. Hold our one. Kind of throw some draw runs in there as well. Kind of delay his user. Make sure we do ID the gap that we are running through. Only thing about some of these runs, you have to let the receiver set their feet. And remember what I said. Gun bunch, you're either blocking the tight end. Or you're blocking the running back, whichever side you're going to. So you're going to the field side. You gotta block the tight end. Make a two two route read. Running back. And then just go over the top. Make sure you have an over the top read. So that's gonna be how you're gonna run it. Make your read. One, two, he fights. Boom. So I've got a deadly gun bunch, and it's just the principles of knowing your blocking assignments and how you're gonna block, how you're gonna attack. You know, like, you want to go to the left, make sure that you either block the running back or the tight end. I'll do a breakdown on it, man, one of these days. So if we're going to the right, we slide protect to the right, obviously. But you don't need to necessarily roll out of the pocket. Just because you're sliding to the right, your line isn't going to roll out to the to the numbers with you, you know. Like, don't, you don't got to do all that. You stay in the pocket, but slide protect, pick up protections for you. And then just hold R1, boom, possession kick. Try to kill him underneath a little bit with this. Kind of run it back, forth, back, forth. Get a matchup that you want. Get Renfro out of the box. Make sure he sets his feet on run plays. On second down, it's Jacobs. And they will only muster a yard. Not really doing this to. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop. I'm gonna try something it? risky here. Let me this guy see. Is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run this flip. But I'm actually gonna send no Renfro. This is four down territory if they're unable to convert. Renfro B. Right now looking at like, what? <laughs> Operating from the gun. Car. Oh, look at that user catch. Simple, man. Just hold that R1, bro. <laughs> Rempro, man, man. Man beast underneath. I'm shorting this running back route. Um, if y'all are very familiar, running backs don't have, like, you, you got different route running. You got short route running, medium route running, deep route running. Running backs don't, aren't very good medium to deep route runners, so just shorten his route. On first down, car. 
Down. Yeah, yeah, what I mean about Fletcher Cox. I hate that shit. Because it doesn't make him good. It's just like he just randomly just blocks shit for no reason. It's not skill. It's just... <laughs> This was a it's close ridiculous. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Elliot you can't really sit there and just necessarily and always double team advantage. him because if you double team him, it means you're so probably going to have to block a running back to try to help. And then you're shorting the amount of routes you got downfield. So, I mean, you can't. You know, overcommit to just trying to stop him. So if he gets through, he gets through. You just want to make sure you get rid of the ball faster. Try to spread the ball around. Slide protect. I hate how long it takes Carr to get to the line, bro. I wish they would bring and back. He's gonna do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Man, he didn't really stop us. He just got lucky. So he's gonna send that cover one blitz, bro. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you feeling lucky? Are you sure you feel like yes, that's what you need to do? Bro, they sh they need to call P.I. now. Sometimes he shouldn't have been able to go over there. Uh, Madden doing... Still got to deal with the DDA, I see. Look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's gonna take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one. Man, that sucks. They're probably gonna lose this game on that bullshit. How are you gonna give me a successful bull rush and then not come through? <laughs> I'm going to play. Fuck. Okay. They'll try to run for it with Sanders. Third down turns to first without. And like I said, man, Fletcher Cox will take over a game, bro. Just like that one play just kind of cost me. Hate that shit. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. Good job, good job, good job. Game, no doubt. Third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this. Try against these close personnel. The he wants that corner out so bad. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right Probably side. Probably send pressure here. Third down. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially Bust my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did yeah, it? Was that the flag? You can't be giving me up. I got a lot of issues up here in the booth. User! Let's go. And that wasn't like a click on user. That was all user, baby. What we like. Damn, I want to hit him with a double move, but we're too close. I could pro. I want to see. You know, sometimes you got to take chances on your throws, man. Be like, fuck it, let's try something new. You know. I win, I win, I lose, I lose. I like that route by Renfro. I'm just, I gotta get used to the passing. So we're gonna slide protect to the strong side, obviously. Ah, uh, we got the animation, but bad lead. Sometimes you gotta make throws just to test them and see if they do work. 
I mean, you're not gonna always, you know, it's the only way you can learn sometimes. So, the only person in that route, I needed something to push that corner outside, so if I run that again, like, I could probably motion the guy over outside and probably get that route. Give me that quarter. They go back to the air here after the INT on the oh! throw incomplete. And that was gonna be off target and incomplete. I was hoping he would actually complete so that. So down, quarter. The Give me a third over there. Oh, this should have been a hit stick. He's got the first down here inside the third. Because I knew it was coming. I just wanted to well on him. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type Quarter. of play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to Third. turn the field as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside Quarter. linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify what I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a so pass as he Two quarters forward. with a deep pass. Give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Two outside and thirds. Gotta think this offensive line Quarter. has got some smiles on its faces. And, and third. I know it sounds crazy. Quarter. But they third. For this back in training camp. They knew they'd probably bait him. Where'd be extra defenders in the box coming after him? trying to keep them from locking down a game right now they want to show the world they're up to the challenge two minutes left to play quarter third quarter third Sports. user you can use that mid read as a mid third those quarters will protect us against like any post routes They'll go again with look at there Quarter, quarter, third, third. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And it's going flat route. By Jackson and able to get this down inside the 15. Either the no, damn well he did not cross the line. <laughs> Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I wish. Wait, where's the? Where's the marker at? Like. They're supposed to be on both sides. Bro, it's the small details Madden needs to work on. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they Put come a quarter over there. Now you gotta wrap up. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away so We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm not gonna be able to win this. I'm so not gonna worry about it too much. Put two quarters on the field. They'll run again with Clement. Look at their bone. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I know Football this safety is in the quarter. NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your line back the edge. We're going to use our helm. Hurts. Got an open man at Scott. And they're going to drop him well shy of the Love first. the engagement of how those quarters react. Especially on underneath passes. It's like they don't just sit back there in the beat and then let people get racked. Only reason I lost this was the bullshit ass fucking Fletcher Cox, man. Hate that shit. That just. Come on, bro. Then it wouldn't let me switch to a user. <laughs> Madden, y'all you know, gotta fix the user switching. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it. Solid. Yeah, he's going into the seed. Nah, man, like, it's, it's Rex, you know? Like, Rex, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. It's not like you can go undefeated in it like you can get on your little win streaks or whatever but you know you can't you can only take it with a grain of salt sometimes but who wants to play
is still there, Grady. I'll play. So EA is implementing a new feature called Hyper Motion Technology. Just making up words, ain't they? Hyper Motion. So that's my PSN, man. Make sure y'all add me. Pause it if you need to. Not necessarily, my friend. You gotta keep in mind. Oh no, Madden's doing this shit again. You gotta keep in mind, like, I don't play with the top tier teams. I play with my team, you know? At the end of the day, I'm not heavily reliant on, you know, the higher rated teams to, you know, kind of push me into the top. Like, I could easily probably play with the top tier teams and I would probably have a better record. That's not, I don't use something like that to kind of delegate who I am, you know. Like, you win some, you lose some, it's always going to be like that. You know, you're never going to go perfect. Um, I'll, I'll type it in chat. That way y'all can see. You can just send me a game or whatever. And like that last game, it was a little shaky like I had the beat route you know Carr doesn't always make some of the best throws like sometimes he does he's not a top tier quarterback in Madden NFL like he, he's got one of the better stats but Madden just doesn't give him doable respect sometimes and some of his passes are a little off on you know I might have a man beat and he might underthrow it or something like that. So it's just stuff like that. You don't really have an elite receiver. I mean, you got a tight end, Waller, but you don't really have that elite receiver that can always win those deep one on ones. So you got to kind of work everything underneath. So we got the single back ace guy. I think we're gonna play it the same way we played that other guy. Just go ahead and blitz him. Oh no, really? Okay, I was about to say. Uh-uh. Another try after the first down sack. Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. I'm gonna use her mic. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. If I would have switched faster, I would have got through. He tried to pit he, he tried to ID me. You never wanna ID that guy, your user role like because I'll switch. You start IDing my user, he's gonna be hell. All right, so here we go. Watch for the crossers. I should put like a mid read on the field, but we'll, we'll kind of keep it as what it is for right now. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the Give me a mid read. Mid read to kind of protect me so I ain't got a chase. I can just drop down and take. On 
second and nine. Brady, a pass underneath for Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy slight territory. Slight adjustments. Give him 14 probably put on a quarter mid-read. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Or user. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen sure too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Brady going to sling this out wide to Godwin. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Yeah, the end result, we want. 21 yards. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs. Because oftentimes they're in-breaking routes. But receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly. Allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. On first and 10, here's Brady. And he'll get that to four and complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the Probably 10. Probably like a flat route. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Brady. Flush to his right. He's going to take off. With that ain't a fumble? He'll be brought down this time at the five Bro. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And him running the football is not something that defenses spend a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has. I mean, ultimately, I can't be too mad, bro. He's got the bucks, exactly and he can't get a quick score. So we're we're doing all right, you know. Like, got to take the positives from it. You know, we're not necessarily getting the stop right now. The fact that he can't score in less than two minutes with the bucks, man. I think we're doing good. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Hate when I get, can't switch my user roll. Like, come on. It's like once you get your user gets switch locked on a defensive lineman, you got to go through all the linemen before you can get to a secondary. Just sucks. So really a nice drive there for the first points of the game. And how about the fact that it was a run by the wide receiver that got him into the end zone, Brandon? You know, these guys, we know they're not afraid to open up the playbook. And they showed it to us right there on the first drive. Oh, man, I ain't been paying attention to the chat. I mean, you can get a game, man. Definitely. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. I prefer playing on all Madden anyway. Like all pro kind of helps your opponent sometimes. You know, like, lowers the skill gap. It's not something I'm really fond of. I even I even reached out to him on Twitter. I'm like, bro, y'all need to make regs ranked all oh, mad like there's no excuse why do y'all have this on all pro man like just it's fucking ridiculous car and the raiders come up first right. and ten at their own safety's out line. split wide all right make sure you slide to take to the side that we're gonna go we kind of mix it up a little left right shotgun now for car oh he's gonna air it out right away See, car, like, see, see what I mean? Car underthrows passes sometimes, and I don't like that. I really don't. Like, you gotta. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and ten. Sure, we slide for tech first. Car gonna throw. That is caught at the seven, and he is out of bounds. But first, he gets it inside the ten to the seven. Should I, can I get run throw with this? Can I get him seven yards? Can I get him? It's like 17 yards. Uh, back of the end zone, maybe. Give or take, maybe, maybe. How will we know? Oh, what? No way! Come on! No way! No way! I put that perfectly. You know what? I shouldn't have ran Rugs over there. I think Rugs tipped it after it got knocked down. And that's what did that. 
The Bucks offense that sucks, to begin man. their next possession. This offense thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also Charles after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that. And what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo. Ooh, down a little confident there. Nine yards is the pickup there. Passion. They'll have a second and one. After one, seven nothing. Audie Sports. Man, that sucked. Cause now I'm just, I can't let this dude drive down the field twice. Cause that's not gonna be good. I mean, I do get the ball back at halftime, so I gotta send pressure. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line, second and a yard. Jet sweep. From the gun, it's Brady. Uh. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. It's like a and he'll be taken down, but not before dig. they work it across midfield. Levels concept. Yards there, a first down. Like with a drag, drag trail route. He'll probably shade underneath. Uh-uh. Fournette running out of the gun. Next year, next year, man. We'll get those hit stick fumbles next year. Not this year, next year. We'll have Carl Joseph. Joy ass on the ground. Got that third to the two quarters and two thirds, so he tries to go deep. We got it. Should put like a curl flat instead of that mid read. Another try after the first down sack. Mm. Well, he's got him complete. They gave him that. Yards, and be faced with that was tight coverage. That's a good bounce back play right Made the right read on defense. On Jesus, down. that was a Didn't tight coverage. But now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call through the offensive corner. It's going to be running. We're going to run commit here. A heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Run commit, force, force a fourth. Run commit to the right. Now oh, yes. Now I don't snap. have to commit. Like one of the Bucks may have moved. You play like a Tampa 2 shade underneath hard flats. He could be going for a possible out route. I know I tried to bait it. I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to go to him. I tried to bait it. Damn. Gave him too much leverage. A little bit too much. But it's fine. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Should have went held the L1 at that last moment. Probably would have slightly gave me better position. Just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. And like I said, I should be on board, bro. Like car under through that beat pass. Then I try. I did try to. I will. Granted, I will say that I did try to get too creative in the red zone. I shouldn't have made that throw. But it, likewise, next time if I run that route, I'll make sure that I don't have anything crossing. Look at ah! Look at her. He can't get the pick. But he also told him, "Let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in." All right, the end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play <laughs> -play guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. All right, so I'm going to have to do something. Throwing again. Carr. He's like... Ah, oh, you gotta come down with that. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it 
It's got to come down with that. Got to. Defensively in the early going, he's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Throwing his car on third down. Throwing the out It's Williams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Uh, he, he took that personal. Coming up at halftime and a little less. He's getting that press. He's going to be on him. I'm just going to send him deep just to kind of keep him occupied. We'll probably go underneath. Oh, man. That's what I was looking for in that last throw. That's what I was looking for. He should have got it on that last time. Henry Ruggs, 68 yards, and the Raiders are back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that like time. Cover four drop show to Tampa two maybe. It qualifies indeed because let's face it, they don't get something. Good shit. Like I said, I start off rough, finish strong, baby. We got this. I gotta get some turbos in, man. Force him in a long yardage situation and then kind of figure out who he likes on offense. I still haven't figured that out. Like, I guess he wants to throw it to Mike Evans, so I could probably take Mike Evans away. Force him to go, go somewhere else. So we pike a boom. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's coming back. That's coming back. Now let's check on the call. Usually see those guys out wide get called for holding on running plays here, passing play. Yeah, sometimes you get this quick screen, bubble screen, anything where they're having to block for their fellow receiver. Usually at the point of attack, and this time he got caught. Shotgun now for Brady. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The pressure gets through. That's what we're trying to do with the turbo. Look at them linebackers getting interceptions. Just like that, baby. We end the game. Oh, yes. A oh, Rampro, Rampro, Rampro. Oh, come on. I didn't even touch past that. Come on, Madden. He's going to get hauled. He's at the 50. The 40. Split the difference and they're right where they would have been with two PA. Maybe I just throw bullets. Like, I don't want to throw bullets because bullets they let them jump them anyway. But if he's gonna play like that, I'll just come out and do spacing routes. Just audible to spacing. What the heck, right? Because as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference and you're right on schedule at 14 points. Come on. Hey Abram, come on, babe. I know you're over there. His guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. All right, I'm going to stay in this. Cover three sky. The Bucks offense set to begin their next the pressure. And that 14 nothing lead to begin the ball game. Well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, I knew this one would be in the park. And I think I'm about to put a quarter over there. Coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it. Let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. He's quick hiking me now. Now let me make my adjustments because I'm thinking quarter. Boom. Yep. Yep. He quick hiked me. Because I, I have the adjustments I want to take that away. He's just coming to the line and quick snapping now. So that's fine. We'll, we got a defense for that. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline. He's scared of the turbo, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> he knows I'm going to get through. I can send it so many ways. It's just, and he'll just take a seat and sometimes you got to make adjustments with it. Line. That's the only downfall for it. Other than that, bro, it's nice. You don't want to get caught spamming it. Mm, I, I, Got three timeouts. 
Probably force a deep pass. Come on now. All right, work the sidelines. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. It's really hard. I'm going to tap L2 so that I don't have a drop back. They need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half. Give them a chance. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they finally got a little payback from that hit stick you did me up. Uh, hit me with earlier. probably their thought offensively if we hit this great let's go for the end zone if not settle for a field goal looks like they can try to hit Bader and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete it's <laughs> that aggressive rat and he went for the dive yes, uh, no no all right so he's gonna play like that fine no, first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to we're going to relax just a little bit. slide protect to the left the left side is going to be our strength so we're going to block the tight end because we're sending the running back on a route. Slide protect to this side. We're not going to hit Williams, possibly. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Toward the left side. Mm, that's incomplete. Got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Give him a delay. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Car. Bucks defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably oh, that Bucks D line, bro. He wishes it had you gotta get like really creative with what you're doing. I'm gonna take the three. Because that's it's no loss here because we get the ball back at half. Nine times out of ten, just that just south. threw me off. And it's gonna cost me the field goal. That distracted me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It just threw me off. <laughs> Listen, now, no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Oh, I should have made the that. Years, my theory is very simple. <sighs> That's not good, because if he scores right here. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. What is you doing? And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the What is you doing? No. Now the Bucks That's a negative. <laughs> as they stop it with 16 seconds. All right, I can play wide 9 now. Play my sky press. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward. Put a deep half over there. Ah! The Bucks gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. How many like? As they stop it with eleven seconds. A quarter instead of. First half. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Do it like that. We got the quarter. We got the third. We're gonna lock up A B. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Good D. Quarter locked up on the tight end. So, on now is the so we got half time for what? One play? One play. Two, one. Ah, uh, yo, my man's got some air on that. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL. You never see anybody get that kind of air. Seven second hang time? Jesus. One touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have hmm. it for the touchback. He's playing a lot of man. I don't want to come out as something that... 
remember what you say. Anytime you come out in shotgun, you want to slide protect the strong side. So if I'm running to that side, I'm going to block the tight end. Oh, they're not going to let me do it like that. Okay, fuck it. For these types of situations, what can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest that made it like a bunch. Encourage each other, pick themselves up because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. That can attack cover three, but I don't like the, the even if you cancel play action, he still has that animation that I do not like. I'm not very fond of. Do, 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 do. A lot of zone now. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. And same thing. We'll block the tight end because we're going to the strong side. It's going to give Rugs some space to kind of get over the top. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He got wide open. Catch Boom. is made by Hunter Renfro. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here. Got to get Renfro involved. Got to. See, even see if he does that again. I could take. I could take advantage of that side, but we're gonna have to block the running back this time. Slide protect to the strong side. And just have, send a deep route, maybe. From the gun, it's Carr. Catch made. It's Moreau. That one good for 10 yards. I will look that's crazy, bro. I'm averaging 12.5 per catch in my gun spacing. Like, let's kind of see what he's doing. Just block the running back. Can send him deep. Oh my god. <laughs> no what you just did, but that That ooh. <laughs> Don't do that again. Playing man coverage, bro. I'm just going to send everybody underneath. And then if you want to use it as safety, it's me and you, mano y mano. Say it with me, fellas. Let's go and commit them in the Shadow Asylum. Let's go. Good tackle. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. I want to get a turbo in. I want to so bad. But he's going to quick hike it. So I need to pick a good stock coverage with like quarters. If I'm going to set it up. Because I'm not going to get beat over the top. No sir. We're not sending nobody. We're not sending nobody, bro. That's a lie. I'm just doing a four-man rush. You ID. That just tell me everything I want to know right there. Oh! Oh! Good coverage there by Trayvon. Mullen, you got to come away with the candy right there, bro. Who understands his coverage? Realize he has support behind him. It could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone. And did exactly that, knocking that pass away. He finds his tight end Howard. That's complete. I gotta put get him down, but not before he takes it. He's gonna do a flat route. I'm gonna have to do a flat route and blitz the other two linebackers. So first down. And what a nice example so there of a tight end doing exactly what Occupy the flat blitz. Him. Boom! Look at there. We come through on the outside. All right, do it again. Fuck! Don't blitz him. There we go. See, there's so many ways we can send it now. Give me a flat route. Oh my God, Madden! And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. Fuck! I didn't try to do that. 
trying to get my adjustments in. I know he's going to go to the running back in a flat. I, I feel it. I just feel it. He's going to try to quick pass to the running back. I shouldn't even put him in a flat. I need to put him in like a man so I can play like two man under and send the same blitz. I think, I think that would be a lot better. That way the flat route gets covered if he runs a flat route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Oh. And right side, they're going to go option here. Oh, yes. That's coming back. And free wood. So this man got hold. I don't even have an elite defensive lineman, bro. Like, why, why, why is you holding on me, bro? I don't have an elite D-line. I hate this, bro. Brady to throw again. Bearing this one out for Evans. Got a man, it's caught. It's the wrong button. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the... Wouldn't let me get to my user, bro. Like, I hate that. Like, it keeps switching you on the D-lineman in that formation. It sucks. And they're trying to make an adjustment. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the ten. You like a RPO? You like Gronk? They'll try and run forward with Fournette, and he'll be stopped. Hate how they always the get dragged the forward. It's a gain of a couple. It's not a good look. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs. All right, we're inside the, the red zone. That's I could play like a Tampa two. Right and put I'm both safeties in quarters. I could possibly they blitz one, maybe. Battle. Keep coming after him, put the or I could blitz both. Or blitz both linebackers, put both safeties in quarters. That way I take away that weakness that everybody likes to hit. That's probably what I'll do. I'll put the quarter on the, um, the, the obvious slant ISO side. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on the quarter there. Blitz there. Not letting me get on a user. On second and goal, here's the option. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. I hate that shit. We're trying to get the right user and it's not not letting me get on him. I don't know why. So we'll do that quarter and a blitz. He's trying to get on that linebacker and try to lock up that little slot. Quarter on the outside. Quarter there, blitz him. Do feel like blitz both linebackers. Nope. Full back guy. Sucks because I don't have like an elite D line. You know, like they're not gonna get block sheds in situations like that. You know, unless they make the right first move. But it's fine. I should have came out in a base D. Hankins has a better chance. Good. That makes it a 28-21 I could, since he has aggressive holding on, um, aggressive block, I could just go in there and just hit stick his uh, lineman now, and I'll get the call every time. It's probably what I'll start doing, just hit stick his lineman and get the call. I want to score fast and then get back and try to play defense. See if I can get a turnover. It's really just going to boil down to that, man. I don't want him to... I mean, there's two ways you could do this. The offense for Las Vegas about set to so, I'm not going to worry about that. He's three, man. Uh-huh. They block. Pocket presence. Possession. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. What's up, Devon? The so he's nice just going to keep playing down. this. So what we're going to do is we're going to free up some space for rugs. We're going to see if we can get something crazy here. 
Like, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna put him right there. Like that. Operating from the gun. Car. Man, no way! I intentionally put him over there and he... Wow. Oh, that's going to be an L. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many... I should have threw it to him. I should have so stuck nice with Ruggs. I'll do that next time. With the now a first down carry by Jones. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Like, he can't run on us, so... Maybe, maybe we can... The loss, second and 12. Gotta figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just gonna be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Uh, I went for the rip. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay I hate those automated. Chris Godwin. Stiff warm animation. I mean, even though I'm going for a rip, you know, fine, I get it, but you shouldn't get like an automatic stiff arm for that. It's a two, two possession game. And I made that mistake. Should have just stuck with what I was going to do. Just throw the, throw the smoke screen. I'm going to do that next time. Just go with it underneath and just wait on it. You're going to bite, bite deep. We'll try it again. So I could, I could probably do it. I got to get the tight end out. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And following the interception, the tight just end. any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football. Come again. on, man. That's a tight end, bro. Like, <laughs> I should not be getting wham barred by a DB with a tight end. Like, logic. Come on now. That dude's barely even 200 pounds. Second and three. Good play. Didn't like how the route developed. You know, I'm trying to get a creative play, man. Want to make sure you got something where the route actually develops. Sometimes they don't develop as nice as you would like them to. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively. This one, this one will develop. Yeah, he'll run behind the lineman. Car now on first down. They'll find the roll here. Bro, I should not be getting hit stick by guys that are smaller than me. Like, seriously. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Mm. Let me put someone better over there. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. not going to let me win this. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. After an incomplete pass on second so down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Send them over there. Slide protect over there. We got the wheel route. Now, car again. Looking left side of he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. He's spamming it. Fuck, they got to run a clip. So we got the slide protect over there. Again, it's Carr. Out to the left. That's where the tight end Moreau is. 
I'm gonna run it flipped and then reflip it because I think he has auto flip one. Yes, he does. Yes, sir. Now we got him. So I'm gonna start. Do I'm gonna start doing that, man. Throwing on first down is Carr. This will be caught inside the ten. And he gets it inside. Get him with the auto flip. Especially if they play a lot of nickel. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Car to throw again. Good blocks, good blocks, good blocks. Look at that! <laughs> Made a game of it. Yeah, I can't believe this dude literally tried to play V to V in coverage. Like, really? This is going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle. The onside kick. Like, V to V, really? Of all the users you could have had, V to V. What's up, Rage? Alright, so we're going to block the tight end. I have no intention of going to that side. I'm going to go ahead and do a spacing release and go ahead and protect that side of the field. But he confused. <laughs> Got him with the nice little route concept. Now we just cross your fingers. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick. So you just kind of cross your fingers here, and then just let Madden gods decide. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. I got two timeouts. Yep. He gets cocky. And he tries to do anything other than QB nil. We might have a chance. Figures. I'm still going to call timeouts because he's going to lose these yards. It's going to help some defenses that I have. That might have like a lot of yards. Allowed. So like I could, I could pick like a defense that's got like a bad average. <laughs> I can come out in it. And it'll get a loss of two. And then, you know, that's just one way to help your stats, you know. It's like if, if you're big on padding stats. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. I got 13 on that one. I got 12 on this one. I'm going to call this and one. Get a loss of two. Certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. I ain't worry about it, bro. We we know we lost, man. Just hike the ball. Victory formation now for the I'm just I'm just now calling plays to help my stats. And now here comes their final timeout. Look at there, boom! You see how the average went down on that play, just like that. <laughs> Call it again. Watch it went from 12. See, it's at 12 right now, right? Or we got one that's at 7.3. We only called it 54 times, so a 7.3 cover six press, right? Even though you take a knee. That's fine. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football, so to me... Wish I could have looked at my thing see how it went down. I'll probably have to go to practice on it. But that's fine. Y'all can go ahead and send me a game, bro. Like, just playing these rakes games. Well, I guess I had to go to practice mode to see if it went down. It's like, what, 7.3 cover 6 press? I think. Just a little cheap way to pad your stats. I mean, if if that's what you're into, not too many people take knees. I know I don't take knees. Like, that's a loss of yard. Let's see. I wish you could like do it from the main screen without having to come in here and look at this shit this way do away with the load screens that would be nice too much mud advertisement no the old days they didn't advertise mud they advertised mechanics <laughs> that's crazy huh <laughs> let 
load screens used to give like tutorials. All right, I'll catch that in a minute, my dude. I was going to look in the sea. Look at there, it went down from 7.3 to 7.1. So, like, if they call, like, knee plays and stuff, and you got, like, a defense that you're really bad in, or something that you've given up a lot of yards in, and you just want to get cheap stats padded until <laughs> your average is allowed, I don't know if you're into that or whatever, but, you know, that's just one way you can do it. Just call the play even though they're taking a knee. All Madden, okay. Why would you? Come on, man. It's cosmetics. <laughs> Not in the cosmetics and changing uniform. Just play with what they got. Now I gotta switch my shit because my shit's all white. You're making me do extra, bro. Eric Henry is a goddamn lineman or defensive end role. They got this man at halfback. Just fucking just pushing kids down on the ground. <laughs> I just hope he's not the cheese the next NFL year. You know, like, I mean, I, I, I understand people might want to play with him and stuff. I just hope that it isn't cheese, you know. Or they, they need to do something, like, with the home field advantage. I don't like it. It's like they give you aggressive blocking without you being aggressively blocking. So you won't get, like, holding calls and shit. Like, that's crazy. So you won't get many block sheds. So if you're like toting, I guess. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the I don't mind playing toters. I just don't like playing cheese toters. Like people with custom playbooks and shit. Shit's crazy. You just go in there and get all the fucking money run plays and shit in one formation. Sucks. No, sir. What was you thinking? Did he caught that? <laughs> oh, my God. One thing we do know. He's going to get his catches, so as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. First carry for the former Buccaneer, mm -mm. J.K. Dobbins. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mm -hmm. be a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Sam Cook to punt it away. And look here, it's an opening drive fake. You knew that shit was coming. incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Good coverage there by Trayvon Mullen. I know without even asking, without even looking in your direction that you are not a fan of that call. Oh, I wish you would look, Brandon, because I was actually thinking this would be the perfect time for a fake. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me at all. This deep in your own territory. Look, I'm all for being unconventional. That part's cool and I get it. But this deep, I just don't think it's the right time to make that call. On first down, Carr. 
He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Shotgun now for Carr. Working the middle here. That's complete. Oh man, don't don't let me kill you like this, bro. Gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. The rules of gun bunch. You either blocking the running back or the tight end. Operating from the gun. Look at that rack. See, I didn't get a stop animation. Get that when you can use her and you make the right, the right reads. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that, field shrinks has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Ooh. Yeah, gentlemen, they're trying to throw a jump ball. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the ball. Like but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight Just coverage, obliterate. you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. All right. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Let me send there. Get a block. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got to really? jump here. So a jump there defensively. That's what we doing. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now Carr throwing on second down. That's caught. In the Take this into the end zone. Now, Decline. Do have a flag down. <laughs> So let's see what this is about. And yes, they nice screen. The points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? Sometimes, man. I, I don't. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end. Because I, I, I have a scheme. I'm, I'm buying into the scheme. The, the 4 3 under with the 3 4 over. And Tanner, really, like, I like him, but his change of direction just doesn't fit what I'm trying to do. You know, Following the touchdown, ready to I have to use my rusher. Sam, which is my pass rusher. So I use Vic Beasley for that. Be taken about a yard and then deep. in my 3 4, I'm, you know, your Leo has to be more of a jack of all trades, you know, and Nicholas Morrow is a better Leo than um, Muses. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just in La La Land there. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Jackson. Rolling to his left. Give me that. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Lamarcus Joyner with a pick, and they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Like you got a custom book or something, bro. Like what's <laughs> really going on? The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They got a seven-nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and ten. I'm the first glad that went on the ground. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. I'm going to stick to gun bunch. I'm, I don't think you can defend it. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Remember, you're blocking the running back or the tight end. You can't send both of them. That's the rules for this offense. To throw again, Carr. With the double rack, look at there. Let's go. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. Bro, I picked eight. my plays fast. <laughs> here in this second quarter. He's He's 
Got everything I want. Come over here. Go like that. On first and ten, here's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Jake. Dink and dunk, baby. He'll get it into enemy territory. Spacing King. A second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Make sure you keep the principle of what you're doing. If you're, you can't send both of them, even though it's a spacing, you just flood one side of the field. Go like that. Again, they'll throw with Carr. He'll let this go deep for Oh, I got the animation. He couldn't get the pick. <laughs> and we had it, though, too, man. Like that. Incomplete. Slide protect. Car, look at the throw on third and two. Look at that user catch. Let's go. Well, that's one way to convert on third down. Picking up. Look at that user catch. Look at that. Um, boom. A great catch like that on a short game. Get downfield like you just did there and use it up that way. No dink and dunk. Come on, baby. Just do it like that. Oh, no. Don't do it like that. Snap comes at one, and it's car. Ah, tried him. I didn't throw a bullet. Oh, <laughs> Madden hates him, you're all. They always make me throw bullet passes. Yeah, you hold R1 and then you got a double tap animation. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown and pick it off. Just as we saw. Give me that. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. It's David Arnett picking it off. And they take possession two yards away. There's actually more catches. Like let me um you put an aggro aggressive catcher on the field. We got sideline. He has a sideline catch animation. So. so obviously we're going to this side of the field. So we got the running back blocking for us. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Throw left side, taken in by Renfro. That catch good for only a couple. Two minutes on the clock. Four minute quarters. Quarter. They go by. Seven nothing ball game. Pretty fast. No, the animation sequence. Like you don't want to um, really just get baited in to stuff. You know, it's like. Like, I'm gonna go for an and I'm gonna go for an aggro. So look at that boom. You get into an animation. You know that way the defense can't. You, you try to want to beat them to the punch. Get the catch. The defense can't pick it off. He'll be down at the 30. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Make sure we utilize Rugs Renfro's ability. Yeah, slide protect. Actually, you know what? Fuck. Fuck it. Looking to throw again on Double rat. Down. Boom. Look at there. Go upfield. Didn't mean to do it like that. What is he doing? 
bro, you 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 mean in your feelings? And you talk about it, and you talk about it. Now car. Pocket presence, just tap R2. Hold R2, boom, secure catch. And able to complete it to Moreau. The Raiders gonna use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now car again. Rack, boom. want to hold that R1 and then hit your double you have to tap the button twice like if you want to go for like a possession rat you hit X and then you know if you want to get on the user and user it you know make sure you tap circle I'm sorry bro if I, <laughs> if I see you in the return <laughs> return I'm going for it <laughs> you don't don't do that. <laughs> hmm. I don't know what you thought you were gonna accomplish with that. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away from the six. And he will make it to the twenty yard line and no further. Alright. This guy is the Baltimore offense at the line Water. set to get going. Water. From this spot in the field with the Water. corner where it's at, you think we're just gonna see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation the ball comes out. No. <laughs> Do not run. Down. No 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 get it get it get a touchdown! <laughs> Stop this running with them. Has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense. It's not, dream. not, not a very good look for you, bro. Not running with the quarterback. Uh uh. Has gone wrong for this offensive unit. That's a no. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Especially, I, that's why I stay in a base defense, man. I ain't got to deal with that shit. I'll play a nickel in, you know, third down situations or whatever, but that's, that's going to be GG's. Anybody else want to play? What? Let's pause the game, call a timeout. See if there's some other... Passes that we can actually attack this guy with. Alright, so rules is. Yeah, they're blocking the tight end or the running back, whichever route you decide to do. And make sure you slide protect to the strong side. Boom. And he works it past the 30 a lot the you can do with my gun bunch. 16, like I can make any play great. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not sure. because they're showing no signs of backing right, down. D. Even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter, I think they keep taking their shots. Because they I tell he's in a zone. Throughout this league, they don't want ball victim to it themselves. And they run with Jacobs on first down, and he'll take this forward for a Really a lot five. you can do now, you know. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still motions. have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead, like, that would help open up this offense I can get creative now. We can do it like this. We can actually send some routes on the field. Look at her. Ah, oh, she went possession right. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. That's fine. Some might say that he's got looked at in and absorbed the contact, but even at his size, that's a tough throw to hold on to. He was unable to on that attempt. We'll do it like this. Oh, we got a check release route. From the gun now on third down, car. 
Boom. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. So that's a nice way to get the Z spot open. Chase the deep route. A Raider first down, Carter Renfro. Pull the mid coverage back. Open the spot out. Um You could probably get like another route over there on the field. So that's a new strong side. Make sure we ID going. From the gun, it's car. Oh, cool. Madden won't let me throw it. Okay. Derek Wolf. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. in the low ball low ball killed me there I gotta get out of that too man I mean, I'll be trying to place it I'm doing too much make sure you block either the tight end or the running back not both ah if he wasn't there we would have had him Picked off inside the 10. Oh man, catch him. <laughs> yeah, play smart. Look at her with the block shed. Let's go. What is you doing, bro? No. No, what is you doing? No. No running with the quarterback. Not allowed. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Bro, three score game, just third give up. No. Three and out. Now what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. I don't know why you would do that. You're trying to do too much, man. I'm like, you're doing way too much. <laughs> can't, you can't call play action if you're not running the ball. You know, it's, it, you, you got to get your play calling down. You know, it's like you can't do certain things. Like you can't just pick a play and try to sell something if you ain't effective at doing it. You know, it's like I don't understand. Like if, if you want to pick the play because you like the route concepts, cancel the play action. You know, before you do the play action. Like, there's no point in doing a play action if you aren't actually running the ball you know it's, like, no, it's not going to work for you it's not going to play out the way that you expect um anybody else want to play I did not understand what you just <laughs> said. I feel bad that you're being bad. I don't. You don't. I don't necessarily always spy. You know, like I might put like a containment. Like if they're playing a bunch of play action, the containment will always get a free release on play action plays. Like they don't cancel them or whatever. You let the animation play out, or you you start trying to take off from under center. You know, containment. What do you mean? What are you talking to him or me, Javi? But if anybody else wants to play, definitely. Oh man, I can't give you a re bro, like you just got dusted, bro. <laughs> Especially like alright, here's my new rule. If you rage quit, 
in the shadow asylum bro you you go into detention hall you're not gonna be able to play me for the rest of the day i'm sorry but there's got to be rules in place i do not like playing people that tap out without conceding like if you feel like you can't get it get the job done you know pause the game concede don't turn your system off or close the app do not do that against me i, I do not like that that really upsets me like because I don't do it. Like, if I don't do it, why why, why would I let my opponent do it? Like, if you don't want to play it, concede it. Don't bail out in the middle of a game. Like, that's just not cool. Not Makes me not even want to play for real. I don't like that shit for real. Mm. That's my number one rule if y'all play. Like, do not bail out in a game. If you feel like, you know, you concede whatever... Nah, that wasn't a lag out, bro. <laughs> that wasn't a lag out. Uh, it, it, I know a lag out when I see one. If it was a lag out, it would have got gotten those connection issues would have been popping up throughout the game. That wasn't a lag out. That was a I tap out. <laughs> Uh, I can't, man. You, you're in the um, you're in the shadow asylum detention now, bro. Like, you can't do that to me. Maybe next time, maybe next week when I get on, you can you can try again. But don't tap out, bro. Like, it's the like number one rule. You tap out and ain't playing for the rest of the day. Too many people play, like, if y'all play this game, if you get your parents to buy it for you, or if you get, if you spend money on this game. Yeah, uh, yeah, man, pay attention to what I'm saying. Like, I know I say, like, a lot of stuff, but I, I'll give good pointers, but they'll stick out, okay? So, like, always slide protect every formation that's the first and foremost objective to help your pass blocking number two is do not have every route go deep you're not always get, like if you play verticals you know and you know they lock down your little check down route you you're not gonna have it, bro you, it's, it's not gonna work stock plays aren't it you gotta put you know some kind of check down or some kind like even with just regular spacing it's not it you got to make like a few adjustments there's no stock play in the game that's going to be perfect for every single situation you know there's some that work as is you know for certain situations that that you know like if there's someone's playing a prevent defense or something, come on, bro. It's like someone's playing like a prevent defense or something. There's there's plays that are designed to you know attack that, but the main thing is there's no stock play as is that's going to give you perfect protection. So my rule is my my green rule of thumb is if I'm playing shotgun, if I'm playing a compressed set, you're either blocking the running back. Or the tight end. That's the very first thing. Okay. You can't block both of them because if you block both of them, you only got three routes. You got three routes on the field, and they're they're not blitzing. You're going to be in trouble. You're going to get locked up. You're going to have double double coverage on every receiver you're throwing. So you always want to make sure that you have at least four routes. If you're playing people that are only sending three, then you could probably send five routes. But we're not. Okay. So boom. I'm going to block the running back. Pay attention. Watch. Slide protect to the strong side, to the right side, where we're running the routes. Give me the slant. Give me the flat. Okay. Watch. Watch. Look at that. Uh. User. Look at that. Look at that. See, he couldn't get in position to reanimate versus my animate. I got on it first. I always want to make sure you click on fast. Because if you don't, it's not going to be favorable for you. 
Alright, so I think I got him in a uh, auto flip. Possibly. From the gun, car. Boom. And this Look at there. A gain of four to the 41. He's playing like a lot of Tampa too. I might throw rugs in there. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection simple adjustments, man. And lead to an interception. Yeah, the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there. Look at there. Animate. Ah! See, but still I get the animation. It's the main thing I want to kind of pay attention to. Now, if I can get like a formation, I need a formation with a tight end. So, there we go. And then we audible back to bunt, bunt, gun, bunt. See, so I can still use Waller. You know, it's not not like I don't have him. Just audible down. It's just going to be an extra step that we got to take. And this is actually pretty nice. Slide protect. And pass lead to the left. Look how I animate. Oh no, it was just three triple coverage. I still went possession. But you see how I animated. I just picked the wrong animation. I should have went possession aggressive. He shouldn't even should came down with that for because I I had the animation. That's just Madden goal. doing the most right just now. Went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well but that's regs, you know, like, you know, they see you doing okay, so something really time, well, they try to take it away from you. It, it is what it is. Wilson gets rid of it Pressing. Press him. Press him. Put a vert hook. Do it again. Press him. Put a vert hook. Blitz him. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Press him. Vert hook. Blitz him. This is Carson. Keeps getting around inside, so we'll switch up. Can't tell if he's running. I need to look, re look at the play and see the highlights, see if he's running like a power O. He's a pulling guard, he's a pullback lead. And his running back did the rest. Like a power o, maybe? Read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just gonna swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play, and guess who benefited? The guy with the football. Oh man, we should have had the animation. That's the only thing that y'all also need to pay attention to. Like Ruggs only has the rack hidden trait. He doesn't have the aggressive. Side probably should have taken a knee That's something I need to, out to the 16 yard line. make sure that I work on. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Right, so rules. Someone's got to be blocked. So we're going to block the running back. That's the strong side. The strong side is actually going to be the left. I'm gonna we're gonna look to the left here. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Look at that, boom. He goes full extension. So slide protect to the left. Look at there, I had all day. So second and four from the twenty-two. We'll do it again. Block the running back. That's the blind side. So we're gonna slide protect to the opposite of the blind side. Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. And it's probably going to be a GG so let me throw that away. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, Playing like a lot of... Right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that. Frankly, I think it was the only I play. could probably bomb on that. I'm not going to do it right now, though, because I don't want to... I don't want to come out in something and then just be predicated on just doing that. 
playing that Tampa 2. He's got the D path. Maybe if we read this just right. Slide protect to the right. It's really just kind of. Boom! Look at there. Perfect. Slide protect to the right. No, no real other adjustments needed. I could probably Let's see. On first down, car. Look at there. Boom. And that's caught inside the 30. You dot him up. And the thing, the beauty thing about that is that beats time. like cover two and cover three. Look at that line, man. We're getting pancakes. Some boy said, where's the syrup at? Alright. We're not going to run the... See, someone's got to get blocked. You know, if I'm running... To that side, i got to block the tight end. I'm going to keep the running back route. And that's just the rules of the concept. Don't always want to take the purple routes away. Blue and purple routes, you know, sometimes those are beneficial to have on the field. Second, so kind of give you a prerequisite on, you know, who you may want to throw it to or who you may need to block on the formation. Sometimes the running back's already blocked, you know, and that's already going to be nice. But, again, if you need to make a motion to kind of, you know, see what he's doing, definitely do that. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Yeah, and the rules simple. Block one. Now this this formation, you can do like a var variety of things. Like you probably don't want to flood one side of the field with routes because you want to treat it like. Like I might go flat, do like a spacing deep read on the on the right side of the field, but block the running back, and then motion him in. So if he's in cover two, I got a cover two beater right there. So, to throw again on second down. boom, animate. Threw it a little too high. I should have threw it down and low. But see how I'm animating, and he's not getting getting the pick interceptions and shit. So just kind of motion him in, block the running back, slide protect, and then give me that flat red, flat read. Car gonna try and throw on third down. Look at our bump. No, what the? Bro. Staying in cover too, so and regular you know, spacing isn't gonna league, work. If you don't win on third down. It makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're tight end hook your defense, will rely on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. You go flat, slide protect to that side because that's going to be our read. Carter throw for it on fourth down. Got Good job. Man, it's rugs. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up. Kind of want to take advantage of this. Able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. So we're gonna block and go vertical again. Slide protect to the left because we got the tight end protecting the blind side. Throwing on first down, it's car. Look at there. Sneak out of the backfield, fellas. We in there. So just make sure that y'all. Pay attention to what I'm calling out so that you can guy get an idea of who you need to block for your slide protections to work. You know, always make sure that you if you're blocking one side, you need to slide protect the other side. Okay? That's just gonna help you out a little bit. It's really just a delegated rule that I make and it works. Gives you time to make your reads, even if they're blitzing, you know, like, you can definitely get some nice little dots on the field. 
You don't need to max protect, you know? You always have, always want to send more routes out there than what they're defending with, you know? So, kind of just like that. And just, maybe, maybe we can get a turbo up the middle. See, he does it again. The last time I tried to press it, he went with a run. So I'm going to have to play like a cover two sink. That way I have a vertical over there protecting that. I ain't never seen nobody get a pass off that fast, so. So I can either A, I can use her it. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up it's a little bit but if that's all he's got and we take that away bro he's gonna be in, he's gonna be in trouble in third fourth quarter gives me more reps on offense so I don't, I'm not too mad he's playing a lot of cover too though so might Try to get this. Okay, so can't really slide protect from this play action. Just kind of put him out deep. Look at her. Anime. You don't need fast receivers, man. Renfro getting downfield, bro. Tearing them up. Thing right here is you want to make sure that your ID is on the gap that you're running through. Just kind of take some clock, man. You got to get this run game. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. There is another cover two beater, man. I'm just a little yardage. And frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. A little regarded on using it. Now here's second and seven. Car. If I would have waited, I would have had Renfro over there. Got to, you know, you, sometimes you play with fire when you test those deep halves. You don't want to put yourself in that situation. Even in gun empty, slide protect. You're obviously gonna have to throw an ID on the field so the right guy gets picked up. Right, so there is no ID. We are set. ID should not be over there. On first and ten, here's Carr. Oh! The coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and it. You almost had that, fellas. You might actually get him with a fade. I think he's got to be careful. Not gonna have to wait on it though. Coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Slide protect to the left. He might have to roll to the left a little bit. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Once again, they'll Slide come up on the 26 the yard line, second and ten. Get Renfro, baby. I mean, Williams should be able to. Look at that throw, baby. Look at that. He's got to wait on it. Wait for that zone to kick down. Just one simple adjustment, man. Slide protect. Every play that you pass. Won't work on the play action plays unless you. Hey, the, won't necessarily work on them, but. Sometimes works on the other passes. Putting constellations on the map for this guy. Dot it up. I just hope he's not a one place spammer, bro. Like I'm if he doesn't get out of that, it's gonna get real ugly. I just got to take away that little bullshit play that he had. 
I'll take that away. I could probably play it with like a quarter. Like a cover four quarters. Take it away. And then... It's got to... What's my audibles? Yeah, I can come out and cover three. And then just match up with them. He's going to do it again. So just go in quarters. Quarters will give me good run defense and stop that. They'll do that. Go cover three. Audible to quarters. <laughs> oh man, this guy. <laughs> he should have been sacked and he knows it. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. I hate how they go forward. Every tackle animation, they fall fucking forward. Like, stop. They have to feel pretty good about getting like a two seat game considering the blitz that they just had against them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Rolling to his right. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And they'll wind up getting this one. He's just going to roll. He's going to play. He's a quick pass here. We'll play cover one. Two yards on the catch and run. A first down. Sliding out of the pocket. Bro, no way. His throw caught. No way in hell this guy is just doing all that. Um, we passed him in. Stay on the tight end. We passed him in. We call timeout here. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Thank you. Try and take them home. So now I have enough time for a little razzle-dazzle play. He's playing cover two. Possibly might be defending the mid-third. I'm not sure exactly. But I know I could probably test him. Because he hasn't changed anything. He's staying in cover two. So, so what I can probably do is put rugs in the slot, pull the deep pass. Uh-uh, no sir. Nice try though. So we got rugs in the slot. We're gonna use this tight end hook route. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna motion the tight end over. Because I don't necessarily need his route on the field so I can the Raider offense set to get this drive could. started. And yeah, he's, time quickly fading here in the he's gonna do that, quarter, so we'll just sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find it changes the landscape a little bit. Their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And they nearly get this Got it up. The midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Now the Raiders gonna need rugs over there. Either side. There we go. Roll out to the right side. Oh, we almost got it. I went possession aggressive. <laughs> Down. He's gonna use her that shit, so oh. I might I might try something here, like fuck it, you know? Now car after the incomplete pass. Oh boy. Oh boy. On play action. Now like, a lot of things happen. But you know what I'm good at, fellas. Let's go! Doesn't get much better than that. And 
just before the half ends, you dot it up, my friend. Defensively, a disaster there. I know often Look at that beautiful catch. This actually works. I mean, the excitement level goes way up, but maybe we shouldn't be. And see, I don't need to spam that play. You know, I used to spam it all the time. I love it. Trust me, don't get me wrong. I love it. But I don't need to rely on it. You know, like, you save it for the situations because you don't want to give away your money. I wouldn't say that, man. Like, anyone can say anything on the sidelines. You know I mean, you're more than welcome to play me next. Obviously, you don't know me that well, my friend. I can throw one play touchdowns on any defense that I want. I just learned that, you know, it's not always the best option to do that. I can do it with a slower receiver, bro. Like, I don't need to necessarily throw it to rugs. I can do it with like an 87 speed. All right, so he's going to be playing that again. So we're going to audible the quarters. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on guy. All he's going to do is I, he's trying to get out of the pocket. So I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to do like a blitz contain. I just can't slow these guys and then down. try to take lock it away. That's that's all I can think of right now. Blitz contain. Take lock it away. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. They'll run on first down. Bro, we got Carson over here. Just... Look. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. They run again with Carson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this tough. time. Two yards, good enough for a first. On first down, it's Carson. You might have to slide to the left. And slide to the right. Now that was an excellent run, and when you see that happen, that's see, when you slide. see guys doing their job, and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block, but the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. And Why do they always make them fall forward? And create extra space. Always. Hit the jackpot there. Two yards, good enough Hate for that. first. I don't know about you, partner, but on second and inches, Let's a lot play of like times a quarter. I'm about the offensive guys thinking about taking a shot downtown. Instead, they just hand it to the big man and let him rumble forward for a first down. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the take 35 that away. at the 34. But I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards. And now you're okay, we can slow it down a little bit. That's all I want, just slow it down. Confidence to make a play. Take it away from him. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short. Of it. What it does is emphasize Might have the to strategic run commit with it. And situational football. Or do it from an engage eight. The offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was, and making sure they didn't get there. Fuck it. On first and ten. There we go. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around. The Clemson Tiger, Vic Beasley, reaches home that time. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. A blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. You gotta give, bro. Something's gotta give. Quick pass is very tough. I need like a hard flat. You're going to roll out. I need a hard flat. There's a hard flat. There we go. And then I need to put a spy on the field. Like a quarter and a spy and a blitz. So quarter, spy, 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Seahawks this are going to set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk. Quarter. Bye. The yard line. They'll try to run with Carson. And he is in for the Seattle. This is crazy. You can't stop it. Chris Carson might have to go four three under. The the are gonna take the lead. Like a four three under cover two sink. Because I don't want to give him like I know he wants to hit that quick pass. So I gotta take that away. Come on, bro. Might just end up going for two. Take my time. Go down the field. Go for two. Or quick score. He puts me right here. Quick score. He's going to be in the cover two. So just kind of how do I want to attack it, you know? We're going to do the running back flip. We're going to flip the play. He might have um, auto flip one. It's not necessarily always overthinking, though. It's just kind of managing the game a little bit. Car now on first down. He'll let this go deep for runs. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Henry Ruggs. With his second touchdown Let's go ahead and go for two. Let's see if we can get a separation. Alright, so we got man coverage. Ah. This guy is it's fine. Give him short field. Yeah, to keep doing that shit. So I need, I need to say, I need to come out four three. And I need, a, I need a heavy that side. Bro, now they're they're giving him auto shifts. I do not like that. The dude is not making that that adjustment. They're they're automatically moving him. All you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They stay on the ground. Bro. Again, it's Why can I not? Wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Come on, They'll man. There's a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. It's fine. I think uh, Remy Music wants to play next, so. Alright, what does he go to? He goes. He needs to roll out. Bro, that is Carson really that good? Play hard flat. Give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Oh, we were in the gap. See, look at that shit. Oh, I fucking hate all pro, bro. I really do, bro. The objective there. I mean, yes, the positive gain that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. That gap is right there. I'm gonna take this away, man. Gonna... They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line. Got this. You got I might have to bring like a safety blitz from the outside. Keeps this up. Good containment. Fourth quarter 
two minutes on the clock in a tight I can get a turnover, game. baby. Turnover. I have to put a containment on the field. Play hard flat. So Seahawks football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Good job, good job, good job. Get him down right around the let's take timeouts now. So fresh out of the two minute Play hard flat. Here's another timeout taken with 155 remaining. They'll try and run some clock Bro. here as they keep it on the ground. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Seven getting blocked in the back, there, like backside getting goal. blocked. They picked up a little bit of yardage there. Shouldn't be going like that. I shouldn't be getting should picked be up. No hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Like that's the only gap that I have is shoot. It's not gonna let me come out the outside because he's running power over that side if I run. If I blitz from the outside, I'm, I'm going to get picked up regardless. So I have to come through that gap. But it shouldn't be getting picked up. Like, first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Let me do it like this. Force him down. He wants to play the clock game. We'll call a timeout on fourth. Our only gap, bro. We have to get this shit. I hate playing people like this, bro. This is just so cheese. This is not good. Like, there we go. Should have been doing that the whole game. The Raiders gonna burn their third and final timeout. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be... Should have been doing that the whole game. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So on now comes the kicker. It's Jason Myers. That sh should stop the clock. Hopefully, it, it probably won't. So it, no, Maybe it the won't. Kick of the game this will be just a I guess they fixed attempt. it. They patched it or whatever. So, uh, we'll go ahead and you can see. We'll do this. And... All right. Now, flags come in before the kick. Clearly, there was contact. Who was at fault? And we'll just concede. I don't, no point. No reason giving them more free points. Go ahead and send, bro. And it just comes down to shit like that, man. Fucking bullshit, man. Like, you really got to overthink sometimes, because that's the only way you're going to learn. Like, you know, you keep getting beat by something, and you got to figure it out. And it took me a little bit longer. I should have been blitzing that mid read. That's what I should have done. It would have took that guard out from blocking me from the backside. That's what was fucking me up. Sometimes the blocking logic is weird, like the AI blocking it makes no sense because you got you you got to account for sending extra people, even though you may not want to. You know, so you got to send an extra person. You have to have that adjustment on the field just to manipulate the blocking of the AI, and that's what I didn't do, and I paid for it. That's it happens. Suck, kitty. But my PSN right there, fellas. Go ahead and send. I probably got like two more in me before I call it a night. But Regs is like a different type of playing field like it, the all pro I do not agree with I wish they would take the all pro out you know make it all Madden where you have to make those slide protects by yourself sometimes they'll depending on the rating you know they might automatically pick up blocks like if you're not sending an extra person or whatever 
Yeah, man. Go ahead and send. You have to send to me. That's the rule. Because I ain't got time to be opening up the XMB menu while I'm streaming because that shit gets laggy. Alright, let me check. Uh, I don't see a friend request. Unless you've already... I don't even see a game invite. Yeah, I don't I don't play a lot of man. You know, sometimes I do, but there's so many routes that kill man coverage this year and I don't have elite corners, you know, like I'm playing with like 70 overall corners. So I don't really stay in man a lot. Like the closest to man that I'll get is like like a man match zone. You know, like that's that's about as close to man coverage I get. Sometimes I'll play like a two man under, but people play so many crossing routes. It's like, why would you, like, man might work a lot with, like, some of the better teams. Like, um, I think the Ravens, the the Patriots, you know, teams like that that got, um, you know, like three corners at least. That would have a, a, a solid man coverage, press coverage rating, you know, it's fine. But, you know, when you're dealing with, like, 70 overalls. And you're going up against uh, like the elite teams all the time. And you you don't want to stay in man coverage. That's a that's a no no. And I I know this from just playing offense. Like if you play man coverage on a speed receiver, and you're not using him, you're gonna get torched. You know. So yes, I'm on PS4. Hopefully I get the PS5 soon, you know, but... You're not gonna like switching uniforms. Ah, oh, bro, no, no, negative. Six minutes all pro? That's like two no-nos. All Madden. All Madden. Five minutes or less. I do not play on all pro. No, sir. If I can help it, I'd play everything on all Madden. Don't don't send smoke at me and then you know send me an invite with all pro. No no. Hey, that's a bad that's a bad sign. Let's see what you got. I don't know why that puts me in the online hub. Oh man, okay. We good to go. No, I, I was playing regs. No, regs. No, uh -uh. I do not like playing all pro. And like I said, if I could help it, if it, it, I would put a. We need to put a fucking um, petition in. The NFL on EA Sports brings us to better the reach out. Ohio you know, like the NFL drop EA tag did last year. If we could put a petition out to make regs all Madden. I would like that. 
as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football as the Bengals get set to do battle with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here. And let's 25. see what you got. Ooh, I can't believe I missed that. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all the motion zone. Breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make play cover three edge. against that. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and ten. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And his pass oh, that should be a fumble. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. On second down, here's Mixon. No, sir. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. The shotgun, Joe Burrow. No, sir. That will be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands, and hope he could make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. Allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Mix it with a first down carry. No, sir. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is Come at me harder than that. Discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixer. Woo! Close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 13-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Stop spamming stretch runs, bro. And that's not it. Losing yardage back to the 16. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. 
They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And it's mm. caught. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And try to punch it in and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD punching it in from a yard away and the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive quite the drive there to get things started they took up the bulk of the first quarter and they end up in the end zone and I love your last point ended up in the end zone because a lot of teams like those long drives especially to keep their offense off the field right keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown took you long That's enough crazy. man is it christmas yet they've got to slow that down somehow right maybe they need to be a little more aggressive maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback that's all you got to do man keep everything out in front of you like take forever for him to score Don't give up the big play. The and then kind of just adjust to it as needed. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone. Should have got came away with a pick, you know, but. What's up, Israel? come up first and 10 at their 25 yard line from the gun it's car it's my circle Oh, he's oh, he threw a right bad away. pressure under Geno Atkins. I hate those superstar Picked abilities. Williams, and he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Waiting for circle to open. He took too late to get down. Bro, it's just the first quarter, man. <laughs> Chill. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time. A drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what a chance. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, 55 yards. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards. Why he stutter zone. steps for no reason. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Hey, right, you ready for it, man? Talking all that trash. Let's go. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're staring at a two touchdown deficit. 14 0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. And he'll get about six up to the 27 yard line. Now it's Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. We'll see how you adjust. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Carr going to throw. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Bro. Don't let Renfro juke you out of your shoes, man. He's he a little slow-ass receiver. Excellent pick up of 34 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed, 
Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Car now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. And Good being mad again. Second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. On second down, Jacobs. Bro, where's your undie at? First down and much more inside oh, the no. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They run it with Jacobs. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Where's your run D at, bro? You're not supposed to let me get that play in. Hey, bro, GG's. Have cut it back to within a score. Now, this feels like something we'd see more commonly. You can let me get the end around in, bro. Give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, Park, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. But a lot of times you end up focusing oh, come on, on Car, you gotta make that throw, man. That time, down he goes. Well, they tried to get two and end up getting none. Because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. And that should have been a fumble. Quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed right, so up? He's going to spam now. We, gonna, like we got defense they for that. They thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also, may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. They'll run on first. No, down. sir. Nixon. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line. Bring that full three under. A loss of a full three yards on first down. Second down, Burrow going deep down field. It's caught at the 10. And he is out of bounds. Oh, I hit the wrong button. The 10 yard line. And that one results in 35 yards. Got to stop hitting R1. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there. Now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in. And now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go or savor it a little bit. But I run right back at them. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one yard line. They knocked them back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Yeah, he is marked down right about the top of the <laughs> Man, field. why are y'all letting this man get drug four? Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Unnecessary. That should have been like at the two or like three or four yard line. I ain't falling for it. Field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They run for it with Mixon. Ah, Crosby. And he will take it <laughs> for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown. Crosby just threw that man on the ground. The Bengals add on to their lead. 
for the tip of the corner over there. That's fine. The first half, they've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. The first half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? And wouldn't you just tell me that you would defend rugs? Like, didn't you just get done saying that? Didn't you just get done telling me that you would defend rugs, that that would not happen on you? Didn't you just get done saying that? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do believe that you did type that in the chat. I do believe you did say that. You can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment. Don't worry about it. It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Next year, I'll have King and Drake, man. He'll... He'll be able to execute them stretch runs a lot better. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Returning it, John Ross. Oh, a nice spin. Oh, you gotta wanna catch him. him. I can't believe I just let you get that. Room to run at the 50. Still going inside the 30. And they are not gonna catch him. He's in. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him. Well, you got your fastest Everything guy on kickoff return. Congratulations. A blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. I ain't worried about it. I know how to stop that, too. You still got another half to play, bro. set to get this drive started and with time quickly fading here in the second quarter not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this i think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation Bro. he's got a man complete <laughs> and this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in gg's bro <laughs> So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. The final shot here before half for Carr. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. <laughs> Why did he step out of bounds? After taking it a little further down inside the 40. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This man's scared, bro. He's <laughs> bagging his whole team up. Back to it in this third quarter of action. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Come up first and ten at their own twenty-one. 
Look at this. <laughs> I can't make this up, bro. You might have made this easy for me. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. He'll let this go deep for rugs. Ah, come on, Carr. You got to throw that. Picked up by Sean Williams. He would beat, too. Big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. Give him 32 on the play. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for him. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. He's like extreme sniping. <laughs> oh, these folks, man. They be doing the most. I'm going to stop showing my play art. And he is tackled inside the you waiting to show my play art before you audible. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. That's cute. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And now it it happens down the right side. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon, 37. Sometimes you gotta take risks. Sometimes you gotta send folks. The Bengals offense catches it with six. And he's got it up and through. I mean, you still got two quarters, bro. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. What's an excuse? What's the third quarter? You got two quarters to go. set to get this drive started. Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of that. I see some. Try to shake off the interception. Yep. He'll look to throw. Catch made. It's Moreau. Worried about fucking rugs. He left the tight end wide open, bro. Slow ass tight end with 82 speed. One play touchdown. GG's. Foster Moreau. Make some inroads here on that deficit. Worried about the wrong one, man. I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, Madden Roulette. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. Man, they did not give me for PI, bro. I didn't even touch you. Lamarcus Joyner with a pick. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. Oh, 
Bro, they didn't even touch him, bro. Like, that's so whack. Bro, like, it's crazy. Man, they gave you bell out PI. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game. You got to on one. Nice job there. Told you stop IDing me. And not giving ground. It's a loss of four. Now third down. When I'll send anybody to watch the tape. They're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. He finds his running back, Mixon. No, sir. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk good about shit, this Arnett. a lot. That a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Oh, no. Is it everyone's thing? But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. So it's an empty trip downfield there as they get a missed field goal on fourth down. And I didn't see anything in the setup. It's a good snap, good hold. Yep. He just pushed it, and that one never wanted to come back. Now Ruggs going to get a chance to run, and that would come hmm. beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll see something, stop him behind something, the line. Something, something, something. Sam Hubbard that time coming through defensively with reckless abandon. Now on second and Look at that. Mm, on your user, bro. GG's. Rugs. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Connection complete to Ruggs, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. First down, Vegas. His car finds Ruggs that time. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Field, his car. And he'll find Moreau here. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. Again, it's Carr. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Good enough for a first. To throw its car. And he's gonna be Why did they give me a bullet pass? That's mad. Close to the touch. That interception may be the exclamation. GG's, man. Has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? 
Yeah, they screwed me with a bullet pass, bro. Well, ain't nothing I can do about that. Should have been a touch. I know I pressed the release. Man, got damn near 20 rushes with that guy. Hasn't even got 50 yards in. That's, that's sad, really. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, Look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, oh, they made me switch to the wrong guy. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. So the Bengals in the yeah. for the football here as we get your reset. Ain't really nothing I can do about that. What they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with them. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. So you try to throw the touch pass, you know I press release. And it's like bullet passes, like, always will get intercepted, man. Like, I wish they would make a button to activate for touch pass like they did in, like, the earlier Madden. I think touch pass used to be, like, hold L1, if I'm not mistaken, before they did the low ball, high ball pass. Bengals are actually a good team, bro. Any team can be good. I mean, you got you got a lot of superstar abilities on your team too. So like, you got some defense. I don't have none of those. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Look at that. That's caught inside the 20. See, if I can get the pass, I got it. You know, they just, not all the time will they give me the touch pass. Alright. Like I said, I'm not even, really, like, I'm not run, run spamming or nothing. I, like, I, I enjoy playing people, you know. So I'm not going to sit there and play try hard. You know, I'll throw the ball every time. To throw his car. See, they get, he give me a bullet pass. See, I'm trying to practice laving. Laving the touch, and they're not giving it to me. It's like the window for the touch pass is so small. They won't give it to you. They keep giving you bullet pass and they give you that low arc. Maybe I have to set my feet when I throw it. Maybe they won't give you the touch pass when you're moving. I think he's got limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And the lead will swell by one more. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. I already proved what I was trying to do to you, Ron. <laughs> I got the one play touchdown off with the play you said that I wasn't going to get it off with. Make that twice. For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't for That's caught inside the 20. Like other than the bullshit ass fucking bullet passes, bro, I should have came out on top, but you know, can't, can't really do nothing about that. Cause those four turnovers turn into fucking points for you. Now car. 
Good block. Wrong person. What's on it? They gotta do something about these playmakers, man. They're not working. But we've talked about it correctly team, but it bears repeating they are struggling to throw the football all the interceptions and trying to play maker the outside they want me to play maker like the tight end out there I would agree with that and it's hate that shit. Day when you feel like an incomplete pass it's almost a win for you because it wasn't but they give you a block shit fucking superstar ability the Raiders gonna use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. So after the sack, he dealing with superstar Vegas abilities, bro. I feel like this. Car. Yeah, they got my guy dropping the ball. <laughs> At this point, down big, you didn't imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They'll go for it. It's Carr. GG's. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Oh, I threw it to the wrong guy. <laughs> I went for the fucking animation catch and I forgot to hit the receiver target first. <laughs> oh man, good game though. But notice, man, I, like, I'm just playing to have fun, bro. Like, I'm not playing try hard against you. There's nothing really on the line. Bengals drive about to get going. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. Because those those turnovers could have resulted in points. Now to put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Look at there, GGs get defended by a defensive tackle in coverage. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Here's Burrow. Don't, don't do it. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds to Yeah, obviously you can't clock. throw the ball deep. <laughs> Staying out there, they look like they're there. on fourth and ten. You're doing too much. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Going deep down field for Ross. You're doing too much, bro. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Oh, yeah, GG's. Get dotted. This is going to be caught. So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here. Imagine I didn't get those bullet pass fucking animations. They should have been touch passes. Nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other And that's the only thing to be killing me. And I, I'm willing to admit that. You know, I lost. Fine. But I know what's beating me. Yeah. 
And it's not you, it's, I beat myself a lot. Uh-uh, no sir. No, he, you ready to um, audible check? <laughs> Oh man, those four and those four turn. I only lost by like what? Three possessions, give or take. Like Burrow wasn't it. Like you look at this, <laughs> I got throwing all over your defense. Only thing that killed me is that number right there, and those were the four fucking bullet passes they gave me. It should have been touch passes. I should have had like eight touchdown passes. But, you know, it's one thing I'm willing to admit is my my timing on those touch passes is a little off. But we'll definitely get those. Throwing a ball all over the place. How you let Foster Moreau get a one plate touchdown though? Like <laughs> he got eighty two speed. Man, hey, I take risks, bro. Like, I don't sit there and play, you know, too conservative all the time. Like, I try to have fun. Like, you literally ran the ball, like, 20 times and didn't even get 50 yards rushing. Like, don't sit there and cut. Like, like I said, I beat myself. You didn't even get 50 rushing, bro, with a superstar running back. Like, you see that? I ran for less than a third of what you got and did better than you running the ball. Like, that's something you need to work on. You need to work on that. That's bad. If you can't average at least three, you know, four yards of carry with you, with a superstar running back, you have, really don't have a lot of room to talk, you know? I know, right? <laughs> like, this dude literally couldn't get 50 yards rushing. Spamming stretch runs. I mean, come on, bro. I beat myself, and I and I know what beat myself. There's the bullet passes that should have been touch passes. Four of them, too. Let me see. This is the first one. That rug's wide open. I should have threw that. This one was the fucking. I, I had Tyrell. The block disengaged. I gotta stop doing that. Like, the dude got pancake. I should have stayed in the pocket. Roll back to the pocket. He wasn't listening. If I would have rolled back to the pocket, I could have had so much more. I gotta stop doing that. Stay in the hashes. Especially if I'm blocking the tight end. I, I don't need to roll outside. That was that was mistake number one. And I'll admit that. You know, that was my mistake. I did have the read, but you know, the bad throw off of the hit. I should have had the one play touchdown right there. So that's one. You find the other one. I don't really have a lot in the first. got him in the second half so this was supposed to have been a touch pass like right there I I think I th they probably penalized me because I was throwing on the right but I had this step I had the lead I just didn't animate like the animate that I got should have it should have been better I should have got a better pass than that. Set my feet. Could have stayed in the pocket and made that throw. Didn't need to roll out for it. Or if I would have waited, I would have had run throw underneath. That ain't the one. That was just a good play by you. I ain't gonna take nothing away from that. But I'm gonna look at the touch passes. This was one of them. This was supposed to have been a touch pass. They forced the bullet. 
instead of him running a straight line across, he, he has to come down to it because of the contact. See how he shaves in versus bullet passes. They come down instead of running their route. So had it been a touch pass, he would have shaved up and over. And I would have had it. So that's one right there. There's another one. I tried, yeah. Moving feet, they're not going to give you the touch pass. Because that ball should have been thrown right there. Should have hit them right there with a touch pass. And they forced a bullet pass. See, like, bullet passes, they go low. You know, it's like, it shouldn't even have been a bullet pass. I know I pressed release. But I know they gave you the bullet pass banner. I don't know. Some maybe that I need to lab more. Like, hopefully they change it next year. I don't like how they have the touch passes this year. Nah, I don't. I don't do all that, man. There's no one making excuses, man. Like, like I said, anyone that knows me knows that I do tend to beat myself a lot. And I didn't even really run the ball on you. Like, I don't play try hard too much. I don't do that. I like to have fun labbing. But uh, definitely, uh, let me catch that invite. Go ahead, send me a game. Make sure it's on all Madden. I really just don't like like if I'm if I'm playing with y'all like I don't like to run spam bro like they, I just don't feel like you know y'all want to see that you know so sometimes you know I try to pass more than I should you know and really want to open the run game up with the pass but uh, send me that invite when you can check on my cat you know. Did some crazy shit. Let me show you all right. And I'll catch that in just a sec, my friend. He'll probably be back in a bit. Oh, there he is. Hey, right, Shadow, I'm going to shut the door. No more, no more outsides for you today. All right, I'm about to catch an invite, sir. But y'all seen the game, bro. Like, everything speaks for itself. I had down there 500 passing bullet passes. I got to... I need to, like, get one of those things that people are using to have, like, the controller laid out, layout. I need someone to show me how to do that. That shows me how long I'm pressing buttons. Cause I know I'm, I'm pressing and releasing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I hold it long enough so it ain't a lob pass. Cause, you know, beginning of the year was it this year, beginning of 21, where you had the glitchy tight end, quick pass shit, that made me piss the fuck off. That's probably why I stopped playing. Yep, that damn sure is. That's why I took the break. It was this year. Madden 21 where they had the tight end quick pass and I stopped playing the game I was waiting on them to fix it <laughs> that's why I hated that shit bro it's like that shit cost me so many games like I'd have the right read and then as soon as I hiked the ball he'd lob Quick it's pass the to the tight end. Sports, and, we are of the very and keep in mind, Waller wasn't always rated like high. Like, he we was like a 60, 70 beginning of the year. What? What, kitty? Here's the former Auburn kicker Daniel Carlson to get this one started. And this one is underway. Here You're not like a D-line user, are you? 
They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Because Buckner can be problems lately. <laughs> I have to adjust for that. His first carry. Oh, what the? And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. A play fake to Mac. Now Rivers. Damn, my man pressing two of them. <laughs> He's got his target. That's Zach Pascal. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line. Get ahead. Yards Your routes jammed up day. like that. They go play action. Rivers. A defensive tackle downfield. I see him. He'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. Oh, punch that out. To intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. That one brought back a few nightmares because when the quarterback gets outside of the pocket, your job as a defensive suit angle. Make sure you stay as deep as the deepest receiver and not let anyone leak behind you for a big play. A nice job there having discipline. And not letting them connect on that pass. Red Delta. Rivers from the gun on third down. And the Raiders have got him. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can Good take team. over and get some points on the board. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. Hmm. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. I want to do this. Kind of use the outside leverage receiver. So first and ten at the thirty-eight. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Oh, bullet pass again. Picked up by Malik Hooker. <laughs> Set up shop at the 27 yard I line. seriously gotta watch Certainly not the cleanest to start how long to I hold that button back to back plays yield turnovers in this first quarter. But now it's There's not much flow right now. A very choppy game. And I know this. It's a copycat league. We say it all the time about the NFL, but I'm not quite sure this is what they Ooh, had bad mind pursuit. They to emulate. No, you don't want to emulate a turnover. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. Good job, good job. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Third down, Rivers. Oh, I went for the. I went for the hit stick. I like it. <laughs> oh, I could have picked that too. Yeah, Rivers not looking so good right now. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. He probably took Rivers out, man. Rivers is still good, man. 
Yeah, it's taken in from successful earlier in this first quarter. Going for it on fourth. They're gonna try a second time. They'll try and throw for it here. And he gets this one Good play. shy of the 40 down at the 39. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. <clears throat> it's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now it's Hines. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Ten more there and another first down. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. one to Pittman. Ah, oh, good play. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Michael Pittman, 37 yards. As his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. Seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath a short pass like that. But boy, it gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it the distance. Mm -mm. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. set to get this drive started they'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago seven nothing is the score as they begin with a first down trying to shake off the interception from the last drive he'll look to throw catch made it's Moreau and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds they'll contain him to just four second down Carga to throw flush to his right Oh, Bullet pass. So Come on, give me a touch pass. Come on, maybe I'm. Let's get, maybe you can only get him when you set your feet. There's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Good 
And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Blanket ship's kick is good. All right, let me play for real. He gets some points. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Two minutes. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs, 71 yards. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly for six. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. They get this out left, and he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. There we go, ramp roll. Following the touchdown, ready What's to up, Darren? Is Carlson. Rogers on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field. Oh, just for three except in certain situations. Trying to ice it. Set of bait. I've seen what you wanted. It's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, here's Brissad. Looking deep for Hilton. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. Out of the gun, Brissett. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mm. to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And he's going to have this down deep into Vegas territory. A big play. Mm. 45 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Good play. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Six yard Beat myself with that one. I mean, you live by the bliss, you die by it. It's really just trying to throw him in there to throw you off guard. Changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown.
The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's the backup, Mariota. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver, and it's third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. From the gun, it's Carr. Mm. It's knocked away and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just they like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth down with Carr. Are you kidding me? Boy, a real head scratcher there. <laughs> are going to get the football an outstanding field. Wow, he even got the animation and everything. Like, what the fuck? Alrighty then. The first down throw for Brissett. Escaping the pressure right. Incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Throwing again, Brissett on second and ten. Give me Are you kidding me? Clock showing 18 no! Put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third. Down. Whoa, what's going on? You know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Wow. He's got the first down inside the team. I didn't even try to switch to the user on that. Like, that's crazy. I don't think my stick is broken. Like, man's just dropped the pick. Like, a good first half when you can hit Pater That's crazy. Points. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it. I said to animate on them. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. To throw again. Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's caught inside the 30. That's what we do, fellas. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And here on the road, that could be a huge score for their morale in the second half. 
every team has confidence going into the start of games. But sometimes mm -hmm. you get it rocked a little bit. And this certainly applies here for them. But guess what? Just what you said. This touchdown can give them their belief back that they can win in the second half. Bro. <laughs> I had to animate after it hit me in the back. <laughs> Oh no, I like throwing the ball, man. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one Especially when I play you guys, bro. It's not. I don't usually run the ball unless like there's something on the line. You know, like there's money on the line or if it's a rank on the line. You know, I usually run a little bit more. But when I just play and have fun, bro, I just try to throw the ball. set to get this drive started we have seen a lot of points here in this quarter for us up here in the booth it's been fun to watch the defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads yeah they're going a little bit crazy right now but let's face it all of our friends who play fantasy <laughs> bullet pass a third time. picked up by Darius huh. Leonard, the linebacker and he will bring it back an interception return for yeah, a yeah, TD. that's going to be the death of me these days I don't I know I'm not throwing the bullet pass. So I don't know why they're giving it to him. So the Colts now bringing the offense back onto the field as he'll go for two. They'll try and run it here. And he is into the end zone for two more as the lead moves up to sixteen. Maybe I need to uh get the muscle memory for it. I don't I don't know. I need more so consistent get shot at it now. touch passes. This in the air. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in. And now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. Why is this just... I mean, I... I got that, but I should have been a touch pass. I don't know, man. Imagine when that... Card out of throw. It's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Car to throw again. That's yo, Madden, stop making me throw bullet passes, yo. <laughs> I'm not throwing bullet passes. Like, what the fuck? You got this. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes, there we go. Let's go. Someone either has to go with it or he has to be passed off. I'm talking about Renfro running like nice routes like that. Communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Give me that. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders get a score closer. 
So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football mm. and for good reason. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal no about that one. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. They say next year, uh, Rogers on the return. smaller running backs won't be able to fall forward. And, and bigger running backs will. No that should be very in interesting. The See if the Madden gets it right, maybe. To go. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we think they're going to do to attack. They hate them. The nice first half that we've had, guys. Nice. Change ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that Way might to be set the edge. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Mm -hmm. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Trying to disrupt the timing. Electrifying is his first, and it'll bring up third down now. Now for Seth. He's got Jack Doyle. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action now. Reset. Oh, come on. That's intentional. That's intentional grounding. Oh, my God. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows and mm. boxing. Slow them down. Quick hike, they're really starting to take over in this game. Good play. Good read. For a Colts touchdown. I was trying to get to him, just as soon as he got me, quick hike me when I was bringing him down. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct. I damn sure so we're going to be on that route. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Hopefully the Raiders got a good defense next year, man. That way I won't have to blitz all the time or I can get creative. I just stand four the whole game. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Play action now. Mariota. Reception here by Ruggs. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Henry Ruggs. 75 yards. And the Raiders make yes, yeah, it. set my feet. I can make the throw. Well, yes, that's his third touchdown catch, which is very impressive, but on the scoreboard, they're still struggling. So safe to say that without him, my goodness, yikes, they are in major league trouble. He's doing his best to try and keep them in the game. I like how you just got both 
A gap and C gap. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away play. is Carlson. Rogers on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, caught it the 21. Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Interesting. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. <laughs> And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Good deep. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Naheem Hines, and it's third and short. Oh, he pushed him forward. <laughs> oh, that's so gay. Like, they've got no tackle for, like, knockback animations. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of Why my defensive tackle just stumbling? <laughs> hey, like, bro. I hate when they do that. Splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 now. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken. And I call it fair catch, and he didn't this even fair catch. Returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching. Look at their user kicks. Guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Carr. He's going to let it fly. Stand in the pocket, buddy. That's caught inside the 20. And Don't panic. Down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. 
territory. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Look at there. Boom. Renfro in the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. Hunter Renfro there to make the grab. And the Raiders get a score closer. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, Definitely a good game, man. I enjoy playing you, bro. Just got to finish labbing these touch passes, bro. They don't always give them to me. It's like sometimes for some odd reason, they just... Give me the bullet pass animation. You know how that ends up. Especially when you're trying to attack the mid-level of the field. At the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively they do have all three timeouts. But very little reason to use them at this point. They begin the drive on the ground with Mack. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. I try to switch there, but I gotta practice letting him go. Once I get that roll, I can jump them under routes. Stay with him, stay with him, stay with him, stay with him. Oh my. Oh my. This shit cries me. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely Look at there! Oh no! He's in there! Bro! I even got the animation. I was in there. Wow. Madden hates me. <laughs> so still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And the Colts are going to recover the football. I should get, like, should rewarded for accurate kick on onside kicks. I should, like... All right, we're fine. Let him go, let him go. Okay. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy. All right, so just let him go is let the stick go. Use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. But you got to let him go to defend the crosser. You definitely watch that tight end. Oh, I don't let it go. Oh, man, I could have took that to the house. I seen the crosser. I was like, well. Blew him. Ah, oh, don't don't end the play like that. <laughs> this nigga in the play of the key. Good game, man. Had fun. All right, fellas, I gotta get some sleep. I gotta get up early tomorrow. Um, we might we might stream on this channel again tomorrow. Um, I had fun. Definitely gotta. I'm gonna go to before I do that though. 
it's all gonna work. That's I need to go and get the muscle memory for touch passes. Cause that's what that's what's killing me right now. If I didn't throw so many bullet pass picks, that would definitely be a a big de facto. Like I'll have a read, I see it, and then I make the throw, and then they give me bullet pass, and I was like, well. I was like, I know I didn't throw the bullet pass. It just <laughs> car does not have a very good bullet pass on this game for some odd reason. Anyway, so let's uh, just hold up. I'm gonna get in here. I gotta get the muscle memory for touch passing because I don't throw a lot of lob. I know how to throw a lob. I know how to throw a bullet, but they like really screwed with the window. In between the in between between bullet and touch pass it is very far in between. If I fix that though, and I just can get the touch passes when I want the touch passes, bam! I probably won't beat myself so much. That's the only thing that be killing me for us, because I like to pass the ball. So I gotta get the timing down on this touch pass. I'm not, and I know it's press release. And I know I'm just boom. There's press release, not pressing, not tapping, pressing release. And I gotta do it from like these press. I gotta do it versus the blitz. I'm just, just pick some formation like blitz plays to see. Because I do panic when I'm going up against the blitz, and sometimes I might, out of frustration. Touch pass. Looky there. Oh. Uh. Look, see, I can get touch passes in practice mode. Come on now. Yo, I'm in I'm in one man. It's just like I joined it late. Press release. Look at her. I get it. I get it in practice mode. Probably because I know I'm know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> press release. Look, see how he gets the separation on the touch passes. If I throw a bullet pass, it's not gonna be there. So I'm gonna throw a bullet pass and I'm just gonna throw pick. Really, I wish I could throw bullet passes like that in a game. Yeah, see. Why are they giving me good bullet pet? Maybe is it because I'm pass leading? I'm holding up on the stick. Yeah, just follow. Yo! Maybe. If you hold the pass lead, he leads them all. Maybe. Okay, I'm just killing with that play. That's a man beater route. Oh, bet, 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 bet. I gotta get these touch passes mastered because, see, they gave me a lob. That's fine. See, I'm trying to get these touch passes. Press. See, I can't be lobbing. That's fine. I got that. I'm not. See, that's that window. Because sometimes those lobs will get picked if you're not careful. I just want. I'm gonna put something. See, there. Touch pass. See now. Why is he doing that? Let me let me do this. Possession aggressive. He doesn't have those traits. He just has rack traits. Who has? I think the only receiver that I have that has multi. I, I got two receivers, three receivers that have the multi traits. That's Williams, 
Renfro and the undrafted guy Keelan Dawson. And Keelan Dawson doesn't have the stats to make those or come down with those or the speed to get down the field. So the only person I should be doing that with is going to be Tyro Williams. So let me um, let me try that again. 16 in the slot. Let's try this. You just send him deep and then yeah, and then it'll be possession aggressive. Got to do pass lead on it. Possession, hold, aggressive. Ah, it gave me a nice animation. I just got to lead it away from the safety. Possession, user, aggressive. Ah. Not giving me those. What am I doing wrong? I have to throw this under. See, Pride Mode does not want to give you those catch animations. Like, I'm getting the animation. They're not going to get the pick, but... Maybe because, you know what? I'm going to try something here. Yeah, I got, I got some. Oh, you have tips for finding a lead? I'm going to try... Who's a receiver that has every catch animation? This elite. Cause I want I want to lab with someone that has those. Um, do do go from here. Manage players. Uh, go receivers. Go all NFL. Alright, you want a big receiver? Okay, you got Adams. Let's see what he has. Go find his hidden traits. He has aggressive possession in rack. But I don't want to do it and just have it with Aaron Rodgers. But he has that clutch trait too. So that's something that you guys definitely want to make sure that you have on the field. Like if you know who your clutch players are, it's definitely worth it. Let's see. Okay, he's not super fast. He's got all... Look, look at this guy. He's loaded. Alright, let's go to Cardinals. And let's practice this shit. There should be no reason why I shouldn't get a catch animation. And it's DeAndre Hopkins, you know, so... I don't know too much about the quarterback. I just want to lab this catch and let's see. I want to just go up against a good defense. I just want to get number 10. Well, I'm going to give you something that, you know, and I'm, I'm a victim of it too. Like, a lot of people, they have tendencies to play like a small small sample size vanilla defense like they'll they'll stick within you know three or four formations or three or four coverages you know and they'll usually they'll spam the same adjustments now once you figure out like going up against a user once you figure out what their 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 go-to is on defense what they're doing you can start picking them apart like you don't want to read the recent play. Do not read recent play. God forbid, forbid that you do that because what's going to happen is you read the recent play. Nine times out of ten, some people are, you know, in the higher tiers. They're going to be playing, you know, the adjustments that, that play the, the, the counter weaknesses. 
you know, so you don't want to read the recent play. But let's kind of just, just go random play. Fuck it. I don't want to know what he's in. I just want to throw it. I want to see if I can get this possession aggressive. All right, so one thing when you block, like when you do plays like this, like gun bunch, my rule of thumb for gun bunch is you have to slide protect. And then you're either going to block one of the two. You're going to block the running back or you're going to block the tight end. You do not block both. If you max protect, you're going to fuck yourself. Okay, do not max protect. Okay. So it's possession. Yo, he's got nice animation. Y'all see that animation? My boy, my boy got it nasty. See, he comes down with it. So maybe that's what it is. Let me just slide protect to the strong side. Look at that catch. Dude. I don't get catch animations like that on my team. But Hopkins is nice. This boy. Look, look at how he caught this. Like, I don't get catch animations like this on my team. Yeah, he just caught it. Like, you know, that was rack aggress That was rack possession. So just slide protect to the strong side. Make sure you block the running back. Possession aggressive. Bro, look at the animations this boy's getting. And he didn't catch it. But I'm worried about him catching it. It's practice mode. They're not going to let you catch everything. All right, you get the over-the-top animation side. Seven months, you must win a cover through sky. Block the running back. Always keep your five, four routes minimum. Possession rack. I want to get his. Oh man, he's on. He's in the zone, bro. What, what's his? What's his ability? What? Hey, what's what's his superstar ability? Can I see it? Bro, oh, I can't see it in fucking practice mode. Fuck, I'm trying to... Oh, so... It, oh. Okay, well shit. You <laughs> got him double now. Fuck it, you know, like... Ah, uh, we got picked. Let's get him back in the zone then. Fuck it. I'm gonna master this. Possession aggressive. He didn't come down with it. Maybe I hold the stick down. Oh, wrong guy. Yo, why does Murray sound like that? That's that sounds horrible. Yeah, hold the stick back. Hold the stick back. I gotta switch. Ah, I'm missing the one thing, the most important step: the user switch. I gotta press circle. It's like R1 circle, and then yeah, look at there getting the animation. Let me push this ball back. That way I got room to kind of work with. Go there. So it's, it's going to be throw the ball, press circle, and then do your, your double catch enemy. So do, do your double tap on your um, options. So it's like boom. Yo, they jammed him up, bro. Like that's that's gay. Slide protect, lock the running back. Yo, my man's getting nice animation. He's just not letting him catch all of them. He got 
He's getting jammed up by a linebacker. I, I don't like that. So let me get him out of that. We're going to have to block the tight end now. Well, here we go with Madden. Not going to call a new play. That's one thing about practice mode, man. It's like you're labbing something, you got to get out of it and then recall another play because the defense on the AI, I guess they, uh, they they start reading what you're doing or something. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. But you can only call a play so many times. Like, see, he's jammed up. It's not going to let me get, maybe, let's see. Uh, they got a man like quadruple covered. Hmm. Probably because of Fitzgerald's route. I could just smart route his route, make it short. And then I could smart route his route, make it long. Then slide protect. And then just get get Hopkins one on one on the outside. I had to catch animation. Short his route. Bro, like... The consistency threshold in fucking practice mode is annoying. That's a possession rack. You see how he broke the tackle? But the only thing is, you're only going to get rack if he's wide open. Definitely not going to get a lot of them. And you can smart route that route and make it short. That Fitzgerald route, like, he's he not a speed threat no more. Never was, really. Aggressive rack. Oh, look at there. Okay, so now he, he should be in his zone now, right? Still not in the zone. Smart route, his route. His route goes deep. Smart route, Fitzgerald. His route goes short. And my gun bunch got a lot of options. Let me see. Possession aggressive. Ah! I'm going to pull back on a stick. Smart route. He gets his route go deep. Smart route. His route goes short. Slide protect. I should have blocked the running back. Oh well. Yeah, pull back on a stick. Ah, let me look at that animation he got. He tried a one hand. It's all about just jumping on him before the AI can animate. Like, I got hit by a fucking defender because I didn't block the running back. But look at that. We almost got a one hand moss on him. Let's go. Do it again. Smart route, smart route. Slide protect. Make sure you block the running back. That's the rule of thumb in gun bunch. Forgot. It. Just gotta slide protect. Smart route, block. Smart route. Hold back on the stick. That's it. That's the trick. Hold back on the stick when you go for the user. That way you can square up. Slide protect. Short net route. Let's do that again. Just get some consistency. Hold back on the stick. Oh, you tried him one hand awesome, bro. Look at that animation, bro. If I throw the ball low. Man's really out here trying to do some spectacular catches. I like it. Man, they letting the blitz get through. Like they shouldn't be getting through. 
Maybe maybe their line sucks. I don't I don't know anything about the Cardinals. I'm not used to protection assignments just getting that oh nice user nice user I think I hit L2 but I don't know if that does anything smart route slide protect block I mean double double slide protect oh man it's 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 over now so I'm holding back on the stick and L2 while holding R1. That's what I'm doing. I don't know if that's the exact sequence, but we're going to get some lab reps in. Hold back on the stick, L2, R1. I threw it in the triple coverage. <laughs> really try, like, trying to get this guy the ball. I got to stop doing forcing passes. A lot of these plays, you really just got to pass me underneath the zone coverages. Just, I mean, you got to do your slide protects, obviously. But, yeah, he's triple cover, right? See, see how the AI is starting to react to him? That's what I've been saying about practice mode. He's finicky sometimes. I see, well, he, he's got him, like... Just get him in the zone. Got to, he has to get what 20 yard passes, right? Yeah, so 20 yard catches. But y'all want to see something crazy, man? Yo, we're gonna have that boy King and Drake next year. We might as well fuck around with him and see what he can do. I know he has like good fucking um, what you call it stats. Let me see. Cause I know I'm gonna be using him as my number one running back next year. It'll be 27. He's got good agility. Acceleration can use to work. Good awareness. That's good for blocking. Not really a trucker. Good change of direction. Vision. Got a nasty juke. Let's fuck with him. Let's see. Just try to emulate him in the, you know, gum bunch, for instance. Let's see. So if you use halfback base, you do ID the gap you're running through. Make sure you motion him out. Do not motion hike when you're running, because sometimes you create block shakes. Okay, so. I like how he got through that hole. Just make sure you find the gap. That's going to be your gap right there. Not too bad. Let's see if I motion him over. Get him out of the box. You got a block shed. ID the guy in the A gap. Always I A gap. Sometimes you will ID the linebacker. Like when they only have like three guys rushing. Sometimes they'll pick him up, sometimes he won't, you know, but I like I'm not sure what Arizona's line looks like. I don't I don't play with them. Let me see. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, bad. No wonder. <laughs> oh, they suck. <laughs> they got a shitty O line. All right, so okay, I can't really test them for real. They got a shit shit show O line. <laughs> See why some people, some people play with them, bro, but, uh-uh. That's probably why. But I'm not really. <laughs> oh, no, I'll figure it out. I just got to get, really, I just really just gotta lab the touch passes that's it once I mastered it touch pass you know my touch pass it won't get intercepted as long as I read it right press release I feel like that's too much you have to do to use your catch sometimes. You gotta hold back on the stick, press all these other buttons just to make it like catch. That's that's ridiculous. Because if you don't, he's gonna get that jump animation and he's gonna get hit in the air. So you gotta hold back on the stick, R1. Hold back on the stick, hold R1 and R2 and L2. That's that's everything I'm pressing. Maybe that's this button sequence. Yeah, everything. Okay, I think I got it, guys. The consistent. R1, R2, and L2 plus plus the catch. R1, L2. hold all four buttons all four of those buttons hold down on the stick the left stick to, to hold the catch animation and then hold R1 R2 and L2 that sounds like a lot doesn't it? <laughs> look at it but look at there y'all see that now all right L2 maybe not to because he's fucking taunting with that so you know maybe not but we are getting catches, so let's just go. Okay, it's R1, R2. R1, R2 for the catch. R1, R2, and the catch. So that's the three buttons that you're going to press. And then hold down on the stick. You still got to make a good pass. Still got to make your reads. But I'm just trying to... Oh my god, bro. I'll wait till I get this shit mastered. Let me do that again. Oh man, bro. Like, one quadruple coverage, too. <laughs> like, wait till I get this shit mastered, fellas. Let's block the tight end and fucking slide protect. Like, bro, wait till. Oh my god, bro. They're not picking it off. Let me get that. Here we go, Madden. Fucking being Madden. Man, we're getting the animations, man. Fuck. See how he squares his shoulder up when you go for the catch? It's like press the button, hold back on the stick, and then boom. Now in a game, you'll probably get the catches. You, know, you catch someone in something they're not supposed to be in. Or... But definitely hold R1, R2.
Uh, I went for aggressive kicks. <laughs> he can't. I guess he doesn't have aggressive kicks. Or he got that run, run without the ball animation. Uh, pressure and accurate. That's something that I hope they get rid of next year. Uh, I didn't pass the. I didn't pull the stick back. Look there! Look at that! User catch. Sometimes you don't necessarily get, you know, the rid ridiculous, you know, AI catch. But see, there I go throwing bullet passes again. No bullet passes. You'll you'll probably get more of these animations on um on touch passes. That's the aggressive. R1, R2. Just gotta get in the habit of touch pass. And then I gotta come down with it. So maybe. I gotta. Pass lead it. Man, no fucking way. Maybe pass lead behind him. Oh, okay. Pass lead behind him. Like seven o'clock. Damn. I pass these seven o'clock and still overthrow. Let's see. Seven o'clock. See seven o'clock an animation. You see the animation he's getting. Maybe each position that we throw it triggers a new animation. So if I go over the top, let me try that again. I'm going to do a 4 o'clock. Okay, so we're getting it. So it's, it's R1, R2. Plus the catch. Just gotta come down with it, man. I wish you could do these without having to. But you can't lowball it and pass lead. They won't let you do that. And that sucks. Madden 18, you had a button that would. Like if you turned on the the user mechanic to throw the ball, you had a button that would trigger a high pass or a low pass, and you wouldn't have to hold it. You could just throw it with the button, and then leave it leave it be. You knew what you were gonna get. This year, I don't like how they did it this year. Especially like when you get in blitz, sometimes you pressure yourself. Getting the animation is the trigger. It's just really just coming down with it, and something about your stick rattling might have something to do with it too, because you don't want to throw a bad pass. So if I'm just gonna test these receivers, I will max protect just to test test the receivers. See, that's why you don't max protect. <laughs> In a game, you won't. I mean, I'm trying in here just so I can get some results, but. Like, I'm getting the animation to trigger, it's just. I know sometimes I might be forcing some of these passes. I mean, ultimately, you want to throw it to the guy that's open. You don't want to throw it into double coverage. If you can find an isolation coverage, then fine. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for real. Like, you know, make sure, make sure when you come out, 
any formation, it's probably the biggest tip I can give for passing, is you slide protect to the strong side of whatever you're doing. It's like if I come out in gun bunch, it's a clear example, or you know, it's a popular formation. I see a lot of people do doubles too, so I get into doubles next. Now you can run your play to either side. You already got your stop draw up, right? So you could do a spacing on either side. Doesn't necessarily mean you're actually gonna make check down reads on both sides. You you're you're not gonna have time to make five quick reads. You're you're not. Okay? These are just draw ups so that you can kinda work with them. Okay? Um you can take like the spacing in single back bunch for instance you know how it has a uh, a slant that comes over the top of it, you know so, something like that so any play that you pick you obviously want to make sure that you got a levels concept behind it so like if you're not using one side of the field you don't want to kind of just leave it there not be attended to right so like for instance, if I want to run the spacing read to the left, put a slant on that side of the field, right? Now, the next thing that I would do, because I'm not really making reads on that side of the field anymore, it's like I could take the tight end, you know, block him over there, and then all I got to do now is because he's my my blind side protector and the slide protect to the right side because the right side is technically still my strong side because of where my running back is so slide protect to the right make your reads okay I got protection you know kind of slow it down a little bit and Arizona does not have a very good old line as we just looked at but the slide protect they get they kick out and they they are they get the double team. This O line fucking sucks, but you know they fucking they did their thing long enough for me to make the read, okay. But without having to double team, that slide protect double team the right guy for me, okay. So that's fine. But another another thing, like if you want to do the the read to the right, you know, you're gonna block the running back, you know, and then you don't want to leave that route dead over there. So you could put the slant over there, so that now you got four reads on one side of the field, you know. So you could do it like that, and then just have your reads, and that's basically where the spacing route concepts thrive. You know, like you can really tear people apart underneath with this just make sure that you have a slant over the top of it you know in case they decide they want to play man coverage on it and usually you, you know you want your slant receiver obviously prefer to be fast you know if you do it that way um and it can open up other stuff definitely can do that like you can sell You can sell the spacing concept. Now that side you didn't slide protect, you see what happens. Not too much. Not really. Probably gonna take flood out. I like flood, but I haven't really been using it a lot, so I'm gonna probably take that out. Probably use it more as a base play than anything. Situational base play. So yeah. I, 
It's really you just gotta find your four check downs. You find your four check downs, and then you're set. So when I get into the Madden 22, definitely Gun Bunch will be the first, one of the first formations I go over in my ebook. Um, Set the audible. Gotta really find what I use and what I don't use. I need a post route. It's a flanker. Drive might be the move. So the flanker drive Y curl. I need that post route. Mr. Postman. It's probably gonna be a flanker drive. Over the flood. But I can still set the flood up. I don't need an audible to set up, you know, a deep out route and a flat route. You know what I mean? It's not a lot of these. I feel like I'm killing myself by not having that post route. So I'm going to go blinker drive. That's my play. There we go. I'm just... I'm just running like that and then I will probably catch y'all tomorrow fellas I need to give me some rest and then we'll go back more into it um I definitely got to stop throwing bullet passes I'm gonna probably lab it real good before um I start streaming so I get the muscle memory down because that's ultimately what's killing me I kill myself more than anything been told a million times <laughs> that I beat myself a lot but we're gonna work on it maybe it's the stick maybe it's me I don't know but uh catch up fellas later okay